and them niggas is way over there. Right, because they ain't got no love for them niggas, no kinship. Like, but that, like that's the nigga sometimes you hit him with that, that whip, he look back master. at you. But the, the house, house nigga the don't want to take that. that, he don't that, want plan. that and that'll be me. I'm like, hey, this the house nigga that got the plan. I'm bruise easy, nigga. Where that big nigga at? Light skin ass nigga. Light skin ass nigga in the house. Here in the house. I got bruise easy. Where's where, 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 where that big nigga that be but, looking at that side? But, but, y'all, but y'all got me. But, but, but here, here's where I need clarification. All right. Kanye spoke up against a president that we know is racist. Mm-hmm. Not playing racist. We know was racist. Um, it, there isn't a. I can't say there isn't a march, but he definitely was part of the Ferguson shit. Um, he believes that slavery is a choice because the other choice is fight. And then he gets out there and the most powerful people in America, he starts talking shit about them. How is this a description of a house nigga? Because he didn't do that shit for us. He did that shit for his ego. Look at where he was. He had everything. He had a, a, a decent woman, even though she was a fucking whore. He had a family. He had the money. He had all of that shit. Right. And he 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 got so much ego. He all you gotta do is just go to Disney World, go to the mall, get some fucking Cinnabons, nigga. You got it. But he wanna control everything. He wanna control his hoe. He wanna control the, the kids. He and, 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 and he ain't gonna control none of them because the mama gonna control them. But, so let's say he talk about, oh yeah, but they kidnapped my kids. Nigga, you was right yeah. there with them kids. All, all you had to do was just shut the fuck up and keep, you know. Your father. But but you see, but you see what you're saying? That's the same thing they tell us. Shut the fuck up and just no. But, but, but see, but he had it though. Not, not, not my point is, is this: enjoy what you got. No, no, that's us that, trying that, to get that's it. Us trying to get it. He, he had, had it. it. No, but what he's Look, saying is all he had to do was shut no, the fuck up. He, what, no, 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 that's what they tell us. Well, no, what, what, what Mel is saying. Well, what Mel is saying. We don't have it. What Mel is no, saying, I'm saying is like LeBron, the, shut up and play basketball. Shut up and this is, this got, is what they, yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, this, no, this is what, and, this is the message to us. We don't want you to stand up for yourself. We don't want you to no, stand up for yourself. No, but he's not he's not standing up. But he's not standing up for us. So he, when that was his ego, ego. how does that make him no, that, that because was his he's ego. driving that shit with his ego. And Just ego don't, don't run nothing but a muck. Just say it's you don't all like ego. No, no, no. No, you know, I, I think he's a genius, but at some point don't outthink yourself, nigga. Let me you, if you, you got know everything in life. Do you know the purpose of your ego? It's to protect you. But his ego is is on. Un- your ego can be overly no, look, protected. No, 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 let, let me no, let me just say this: ego is you don't you, you don't think something is wrong with that nigga? You know something's wrong, oh, man. But no, seriously wrong, not kind of wrong. I think something's wrong. I think something's wrong with him. I think something's wrong with Jay Z. No, I think not the way something's wrong. wrong. Not, yeah, not on, like on, Kanye hold on, though. Hold on, hold on, because if you look at the norm, these motherfuckers is either. Very, very exceptional, or there's something wrong that made them say, nah, well, I ain't, so I ain't gotta be confined to the shit. Yeah, I, mean, I that, can get that, more than this. It seems like I can Jesus. be more than this. Diagnosed you know what I'm saying? Bipolar. There's not many not people who come the from, Jay is, from the that's projects that's, that yeah, have that yeah, type of confidence. Like, Kanye I'm gonna be sitting across from from the richest people in the world one day, having conversations. You know what I'm saying? There's not many people. Some motherfuckers go into an interview, they see a white man, and they get nervous. But I'm saying, everything that Kanye is doing is not for us. It's for his ego. Why was he selling the White Lives Matter t-shirts? What the fuck was that all about? Why was he selling them? He tried to. Yeah, and and yeah. and, 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 and yeah. after, yeah, after he, he got to. the backlash yeah, from that, that was why, when that was when not? all of that was when but, all but of the field nigga shit why came not? up. Did, we, didn't white people own Black Lives Matter? No, no. But yeah, I'm did. saying though, why not? Oh Jesus! Why? Christ. So, I'm, if I'm, I, I, so if I wear an Asian Lives Matter shirt. No, 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 he's gonna no, turn no, no. on me. You, 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 you. No, no, no. If, if Asians was having look, an issue look. in in this world right mm-hmm. now, or if Asians was the, you know what I mean, uh, was the like the focus of discrimination, mm-hmm. you know, in some particular way or whatever, and right. then and then you highlighted the shit, you know what I mean, by saying the the Asians' opposition right. matter, <laughs> you know, like. As opposed to hey, you the just same said, thing is right. co-opting the fucking movement. You know but, what I mean? But he it's just like, said you need white friends. You do so need, if you need white, white friends. friends. 
And you put on a White Lives Matter shirt. No, no, no. And that's trying to help you know, you know, white people. You know, wear that shirt on your friends. Right. Okay? They don't want to be your friends. Exactly. Like, cool. If they're rocking a White Lives Matter shirt, no, they are no, not no, your no, friends. No, see, that's cool. You, you need white friends to help you, number one, to help you with business, and number two, to show you a different side of a lifestyle that a nigga ain't trying to show you that. Not, oh, niggas is too busy being tough. Not necessarily. Niggas is too. The, the, the problem with niggas you right now women. is because they listen it's to other white. niggas. <laughs> they listening. At, at, all, all our shit is built on a false narrative because a nigga's telling you something where he don't want to get. He don't want. He don't want you to get with, with him and the white man. Mm. Most of that shit is a false narrative. They let everybody open up stores but us. They, it, it is. No. But but who started no. the narrative? And, and what purpose does it serve? It's never, it's and not people true. walk around hypnotizing no, themselves. Not true. Yo, they ain't never no, gonna no, no, let us get up. Oh, they ain't never gonna let oh, us. You the know, white we man, always fuck the, this shit the white up. Man, we don't ever support the, each other. The white and man people rehearse that all day long. No, how's look, it gonna be, the how's white gonna man be is the devil. The white man is the devil. The white man, the, the black man is the devil too. Anybody, I think that anybody's capable of being the devil. Hey, whoever's in fucking charge is the motherfucking devil. No, look. No fuck about nobody underneath. And I can't I can't agree with that either. Because, all right, so so when you when you come into wealth, the first thought is protect my family. Protect my family, take care of my family. Some of these motherfuckers is so paranoid. That they will push everybody else down so that their family is good. That's what these families been doing for years. Pushing everybody else down so we're good. You dig what I'm saying? It's instinctive. It's for all of us. If, it, if you woke up tomorrow and you, you won a lottery and you got like two billion, your first thought is get, get everybody in the family together. We're going to go da, 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 and we're going to figure out how to keep this shit like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but what you're going to do is you're going to gather up your family and you're going to do that, but you're not going to make a conscious effort to make sure nobody else get what you got. Yeah, you know I mean, you just go take your and, family. And, 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 and that's what will. most people do. If you feel no, threatened by it, no, yes, I, I, I know, you, I know for a fact will. I wouldn't do that. If you feel that. threatened, like, I know for a fact I wouldn't do that. Because I'm a fear, party nigga. The fear of all other billionaires is that somebody else going to come up here and fuck our shit up. So we gotta watch who's I on the way understand. up. Yeah, yeah. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? That's human nature. Because nobody else can't can't do shit. Well, to that, us that's that's that, another that's, billionaire. That's white man's nature. Right. I'm telling you, I'm a party nigga. Don't let me get a billion dollars. <laughs> uh, half of that motherfucker gonna disappear in about three days. <laughs> I ain't gonna fuck it around. You got that right. I'm not gonna fuck around and die with a billion. Do, do motherfucker. Look, I ain't even gonna have a will. I ain't even gonna have a will. I'm gonna have a won't. I'm gonna give you whatever the fuck. I'm gonna give you whatever the fuck I was gonna give you right when I'm when, when I'm I upright that. right now. Exactly. When I'm upright, I don't wanna see y'all niggas when I'm on my deathbed. Y'all got it. <laughs> All, all that shit that I didn't give you, you won't get this. That's my fault. We ain't got no fucking will. I ain't gonna be laying and shit and everybody waiting. You ain't get them a fucking dime Chop yet. Up your shit. Come on, that that to me that's sick. To me that's a nigga sickness. What? When you was upright, you got a billionaire. You upright. You could give everybody whatever the fuck you want to give them. You upright right now. Them niggas will wait around and they gotta wait and watch you fucking deteriorate. And you sitting down the whole time, like, you know, like still trying to pull strings until, and then the day you die, now all your shit is in turmoil. But we, they don't know that. With all you as had, long as they keep it intact. No, no, my my point there. is this. All yeah. you had to do was give these niggas whatever you wanted to give them. No. Give it to them. Why are you alive? Bruh. That don't make more sense? 400 years, though. 400 years. Of what? 400 years of oppression. My nigga, we done did so much. They done, well, what? They know they done did so much dirt. If these niggas ever get right, it's over but for But you us. know what? Our That's women already love no, but you these know what? niggas. Always no, but you no know matter what? what we do to these niggas, but you know what? our women See, are in love with these niggas. No, but, 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 you know what I'm saying? But, but, they, but, but, they, you know what I mean? But, we can't turn our backs but, when they but, around. But my point, but, but, you know but so, now, so now here's the point. If niggas understood simple shit like culture, we could be winning. But, Col we, but we don't get this, this. But, but, but we don't understand the war of culture. Like if a motherfucker want to be like you, 
Let them. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's how you win the war culture. So do you believe that everyone should be allowed to use the word nigga? I, I, be, I believe we should set the rule before they change the law. That, that, that's what's going to happen. We should set the rule. Who could say who could say the word nigga and how? <laughs> who would that be? Whatever we say it is. I believe everybody should be able to say Let's it. get Snoop. Fuck that. Get Snoop. I believe and, that. Not Fuck me. That. Hey, hey, look. Because once everybody's, they going, they going, everybody's they a nigga, they, they going to change the law so that you anybody can say it Fuck anyway. That. That, okay, that. if you think about it like that, but just just being able to say the word nigga don't make you a nigga. You know what I mean? You still well, look well, at well, you know niggas what? like no, no, nigger. Now, see, but, now, see but, you know what? But here's the temper. But you don't feel the, but, you but see, but here's the temper. If anybody could use the word nigga, because I remember, look, I used to date a white girl, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, you, now, how we use the word nigga is different than how they use the word nigga. So she tell me to call her, her mother, her, her mother's husband house because she there. She was a stripper. So after she get off, I call her house. You know what I mean? It's about two or two in the morning. And then when I call the house, the, the man of the house, he get on the phone and he said, uh, uh, do, do you know, do you know what time it is? Do, do you know what it's three in the morning? I said, I know what time it is all over the world. And I ain't call here to speak to no nigga. Put Christina on the phone. Them motherfuckers lost their mind. <laughs> but I didn't, and, 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 I, and I met the nigga. He was some Italian nigga, and I met him. I'm like, listen, I ain't, obviously, I didn't call you a nigga to be a nigga, but that's how we, that's but, but how look, we talk. You said, I, you said some Italian nigga. Right. Right? Right. Some Italian me growing nigga. up, hearing the word, I didn't put a color to it. I don't come to it now. Yeah, man, this white nigga came through, blah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. You know, that, right. You know this Chinese nigga. You know what I mean? N- nigga was like dude or male. You know what I mean? Right, absolutely. It, 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 it ain't have, have a said. color. When other people use it, all of a sudden, it has a color. Right, right. think about it. Wait, wait, think about it. Think about it. But when we, when we talk about Eminem, we're like, yo, that nigga nice. Yeah, but the word nigga is generational. M don't, don't say, say that. that because there's people who's going to take it personal well, well, and he'd rather not deal with the be, backlash. Because he's he generational. But don't think. You're going to feel that way because you come from, you like a late nigga, okay? But early niggas still feel the effects from being a nigga but in, in, to but, motherfuckers. But in, right. in, so the word means more to them, you know what I mean? They right. got more disdain for it than maybe somebody not, of this well, generation. Well, it, 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 right. Most of that shit done washed up. When now that we a little up, more free like and this and that, you can feel that way right. about the word. No, but, but now- the older generation, my generation, mine or before, whoever's left from right. from before mine, because we pretty much at the end, Right. they, they have a, 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 a different, uh, feeling about the word now, right now, because but, they're closer to but, when it meant boy look, slave now you know is a term of endearment right. that everybody used so like i said if a motherfucker want to be like you let him so then you'll be winning so you got no problem with all races saying nigga. In, in, in certain connotations they gotta you I gotta do. you gotta I write do. look, look i'm telling i'm telling you right now if a nigga don't set the rules about nigga then why are he gonna pass a law to say that they could use the word nigga. And then we got no control over it. I would love, law, I would love. That, but they gonna pass a law. I would, I love, to, I I would love to walk the in law, The law would give them a little safety. No, they, uh, they gonna, gonna say, it. look, what's what the, what the law? You, you never, what's you the, the law gonna be? No, you never, you, you never. You, you can't attack them. You never heard Chinese, it's, it's not word. gonna be, look, look, right. If, if you if you if you get tight with a nigga calling you a nigga, it's gonna be, it's gonna be free speech. It's gonna be free speech. Let me tell you something. If a racist person was to walk through these blocks right now and be like fucking nigger you know what the response is gonna be yo who this nigga talking to who the fuck <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying look Look, what's wrong, this, 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 what's wrong with this nigga? No, but this you know is, mean? This it's right not, before they snack no, but, fire out of here. Yeah, yeah, before they, they, may, they may or may not. not. Because there's there's they, somebody's going to. But nah. here's the thing. They may or may I, not. I take issue with the people Shit, that you I'm know like, ain't using yeah, it in a, in, a, in a malicious way. That's all I can Look, do with You know they're not. Like you go to a Jay-Z concert, you go to a Jay-Z concert when when he performs Jigga What, Jigga Who. That's all about the same about when they recite. He got he got a speech. She'd be like, listen. I'm gonna let y'all say it for tonight. Yeah, <laughs> you know right. what I mean? You know what I mean? Down. And then he goes the to, the, to the right That's side. That's my point. Nigga, what? Nigga, who? You look out into that arena. And I guarantee you they have a ball. People. And I guarantee you they have the time of their life because you set That's the rules. Right. Other than that, like I said, then why are they gonna change the law? It's gonna be free speech. <laughs> and you gonna go to jail because somebody called you a nigga. 
I guarantee, but you got, but like I said, if you understand culture, mm. we should be winning. It's just like a a, 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 a black woman will wear a blonde weave, but get mad when a white woman wear braids. Or Afro. If you let them, they with you. But that's exactly that's the culture shock. No, no, no. That, that's I mean? not understanding that's the culture. culture. We, we don't we don't get mad when we should. Yo, why you put all that collagen in, in your lips, Karen? You know what I mean? Who you trying to look like, Karen? Nobody gets mad at that. No, but who they, they trying to look like? like yo, husband. But no, but, but who so they no, trying to look like? Example, you know what I'm, saying? Saying? I'm saying, but who Let they em. trying to look Let like? Em. Right. Because it shows that you're trying to co-opt our culture. If, if right. Oprah, yeah, if you know, Oprah, was Oprah was to get on TV, if Oprah was to get on TV, that's not culture. That's our physical. No, no, no. That's culture because they want to. They a suntan. A suntan is culture. Right. So suntan is culture. So tanning, tanning salons should they be banned? Like no, no, you stay your color. Not at all. Right. Because they serve a purpose. Hey, look. You know so if I mean? they want to be niggas, why not let them be niggas? That's, that's, that's what, what he's saying. Say. Yeah, right. let them be niggas. Let them. That's what he's saying. Right. So, so let, me say to Mac. let me say it to Mac. Look, if they want to be niggas, why not let them be no, niggas? No, because they want our rhythm and not but, our blues. But not, uh, no, 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 but, but I'm saying. No, but, but I'm saying. But, 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 they want the R. Oh, but they don't want no, the B. No, you can say that. Yeah, they want the B. And keeping it the way that it is right now. I'm quiet. I beg to differ on that. No, no, no. He he has a point, but my point my point is this. We're losing. Yeah. Now you got to get to the point. They don't give a fuck what they got to do to win. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. I don't because they it. don't because because they because they know at the end of the day they must win. I, Niggas, I don't think we losing. You ever been upstate New we, York? We, we could be. You ever been upstate New York? We could we could be winning. Right. But we don't understand. Like I said, when motherfuckers want to be like like because it's not only white people. They got the little Oreos. Yo, my nigga. They Fact, all want. Right. They all want to do yeah. that shit. Facts. We we'd have more we'd have more of us than them, of them. This but this is my thing. If we allow, all right. Ah, see, this is where it get deep. Because when now, a nigga now wanna, we got to go back and say you know, we all know who the original man is. But that's and because point. of that we allow, or, or or because of certain histories, when Spanish people say we don't take offense to it. You think what I'm saying? Oh, because you, you're my neighbor. Yo, you live right neighbor. next door. Yo, what's up, my nigga? Because right. they got, they, you, they got in the Bronx blues too. They say it more than we do. All day, all they day. Got they say it more than we do. You don't, you, you don't, you right. don't think poor white trash? They can't you don't think, for white. You don't think poor right. white trash got our blues? No. They poor white. No. They were. They no, poor than us. Because no matter what their issue is, being black will never be a part of it. No, you can be poor no, and black. It's they some, just gonna be poor. It's some white people that want to be like. That, I, I, listen, I'm not concerned with what yeah, you want to be. Of them. Like, but see, now you put a color on it. But, yo, but, but, but do you point, want? Now, do you want to win? You can't, you can't compare. This is you where it gets confusing. No, it's not. It's not confusing. It's, it's just like I said. Because it's, it's like if like somebody wants to on, be like you, if somebody wants to be like you, this subject is convoluted. It's very. No, it's, it's not one size fits all. So, yeah, so many the factors involved. It, no, it, 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 it is, but do you don't, you don't overcomplicate it. Just like I said, if 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 some niggas don't get together and make the rule over who could say nigga, I'm telling you, it's coming. They're gonna pass a law to say that the word nigga, that you could say nigga, and it's free speech, and you are gonna go to jail when the white man called you a nigga. And but, you heard it uh, first, so my uh, expert but, but, opinion but when it goes into You're going to go to jail when a white man calls you a nigga? You a nigga. No, you're going to go to jail when a white man calls you a nigga and you beat the shit out of him. That's that okay. That's now. why you're going to no, jail. No, no, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, that's the white man calls you a nigga. And, and, you know what? and you know what? And you might go to jail for a hate crime. Yeah, but you right. beat his ass for calling you a nigga. No, you going because, to jail for assault. Because we didn't set the rules. You going to jail for assault. Look, when you know, you beat look, him up because look, why do we want to set a rule over because, a word? Because we got to, you know, you know the only rule a nigga got right now? The only rule. Snitches get stitches? Mm. That stupid shit? Mm. We only got one rule. What? Snitches get stitches. Yeah. Who the fuck does that help? I'm not mad at that. It's no, but who does that help? I'm not mad at stitches. No, but who does that help? Harry Tubman? The yeah, you no, know, stop that bullshit. Stop right. that snitches bullshit. Snitches get stitches. It definitely no, helped. No, no, stop that. <laughs> it definitely helped. No, snitches get stitches. It helped the low nigga. 
Don't, what, and, don't tell the oppressors you know what? what we doing. No, what? No, don't no, no. Tell the oppressors no, what not we doing. what we doing, what they doing, because I don't do that shit. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. That just happened. I ain't doing that shit. It's <laughs> yeah, what they doing. Belly, I'm Look, mad at you, man. No, no, no. We, we already Look, established where you was going to be at. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, I, 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 know, I know what status is. Right. I know my status. Right. Now, uh, 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 in, in the hood, respect don't come from the top down. It come from the bottom up. up, right? So how how you gonna how you gonna get status when the lower nigga is claiming the top spot? He don't give a fuck what you did. Mm. Just, just like when when the nigga when the, when the nigga uh uh nigga got shot in Houston and and then the nigga get off. Yo, it's it's niggas out there. It's the wolves. They don't give a fuck about your status. Why we ain't going nowhere? The mailman should have more status than you. The bus driver, man, fuck this nigga. He only drive a fucking bus. Fuck this nigga. And and this nigga ain't even he this nigga ain't even got a bus pass. And he'll say, fuck the bus driver. Fuck the mailman. Fuck the teacher. Fuck the nigga that owned the corner store. Where are we going when this is the top nigga? This and we and we obeying his law. They stupid ass law. Snitches get stitches. So now I can see if we was rob if, if they was robbing banks and we was getting some of the money. Right? right? Snitches get stitches. These niggas is bringing in millions of dollars. Right, yeah, yeah, These the niggas is in front of that store right there getting fucking sneaker money. And we ain't never going to wear none of these sneakers. Now, all right. I hear what you're saying. I acknowledge that. There's a lot of truth in what you're saying. Were they, was everybody like that? No. No, there, because at some there point, were, there were some hustlers who status. was like, all right, look, who got the business idea? I'm going to put this bread in the We need to I'm clean doing. the money. You know what enough. I mean? Not enough. Some of us. some of them not got enough. out not enough with that. Not enough. Some of them went behind hip hop artists and said, "Go out there." But these niggas now do ain't thing. doing that. These are the, they, they can't do that. They the wolves. They know they too busy being wolves. But the Rico is back. They, they, but they too busy they, being nobody, wolves. Nobody doing shit. No, no, no. The, ain't nobody doing shit. Is the lone shit. nigga? Is the lone nigga that makes all? Of, why do you think that if, the, if a nigga knew better, why would your only rule, your only rule, is snitches get stitches? Because. Because you're doing stupid shit. That's because, why. Because uh, attention is the new currency. Nah, there's two rules. Not What's the other rule? Attention the, the three is second the new rule. currency. The three, three second, second rule. Cloud is the new attention. currency. Attention. No, 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 and it's, 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 the, it's rule, because see, I'm gonna I'm tell you what, what, what happened. Mm -hmm. These niggas done fucked up so bad, and motherfuckers don't really see it, but I'm telling you it's there. They turned the streets into prison. All the shit that they do in the streets now, that's prison shit. The sagging shit, the gang shit, all Drugs. that shit is prison shit. That's a and and now, that, now, now, now that everybody wanna be a motherfucking uh, 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 a wolf and a savage, now they can't go nowhere. Like 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 twenty years ago, I'd be worried about the wolves. But all I gotta do is just not go in the wolves block because they can't leave the block. Right. They stuck. They in prison. Right. Mm. The niggas that live in all them buildings, they less than a fucking shedding. You go to school, you go to work, you get the fucking house, you shut the fuck up. And this is what we do for our own. And then the, the white elephant in the room is that you see them niggas, you see how the, how fucking how they be talking all tough and how they all big and bad. They can't protect their motherfucking people. They can't protect their kids. And they don't give a fuck about their women. And that's coming from the low nigga. That's their rules. And originally, that's what the games was about, right? Protecting the neighborhood. That's what every game got started. Now, right. if you exactly. know, if you know, if you know the history of games, yeah. every game Black got started as a mecca. Any, any any gang, the, the fucking the um the, the mafia. You know, when they, when Italians came over, they was getting treated bad, and they made the mafia yeah. because you know, and the Irish. When the Irish, after the Irish came over after the Italians, the Italian, the, the Irish made their own game to protect themselves from the Italians. Right, police right? forces Italians. <laughs> but but deep, but deep, but deep, de 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 these niggas, they just done got it. Uh, uh, it's jail shit. They no, just want to pump niggas. I'm gonna I'm I'm say, I'm gonna say this: what the, what the mob, the Irish, the what they did was they infiltrated legal businesses. For us, hip hop became the infiltration spot. 
we infiltrated the music the music industry. But it was always co already controlled by somebody. So that's where the diff well, difficulty comes in. Well, see now, now business, the music is no is real. Really, it's no control. It's control on the distribution end. Right. Yeah. There's no control on the creative end, and 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 you know you know what I'm saying. That that's why a nigga can make so much money. And then and then uh, because when we came in, it was uh, it was uh, independent distribution. Right. So they, 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 and that's where Sugar Hill fell off because they stopped. Though they stopped the channel of distribution, and then you had to, you had to, uh, 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 you had to sign in with the white boys just to distribute the music. But as far as creatively, niggas is doing their own thing. They, you know, but it, 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 and, and 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 that's where I fought. Like like when the motherfuckers, say, oh yeah, and there was this big conference and everyone. Well, whether okay, whether the conference actually happened or didn't happen. Can nigga, you speak you, on that? Nigga, you ran your mouth on your fucking own. That shit you talking about? Yo, can you speak so on So it's that? supposed to have been this big conference. Now, I wasn't there. I don't know nobody that was there, but right. there's people that would say that this conference actually happened. Right. Now- The conference with? With the, with the major record labels, and, and their agenda was, you got to put uh, out uh, 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 all rap. this negative music, right. or we ain't going to push it. Right, so we can so, help fortify the, the prison Private, system. Privately okay, owned prison. Privately owned prison system. Right. This yes. was a meeting? It's, yeah. it's, you never heard about this? Allegedly. Allegedly. It's, 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 allegedly. It's, it's, it's allegedly. Allegedly. It's allegedly. It's allegedly. allegedly. We have to say this allegedly. Allegedly. This is, this is, yeah. There's, no, there's, allegedly. More, there's, more, there's more people who will vouch for it than not. And, and it wasn't rappers on the ground floor. No, the heads of the major. But, I, but, I, but, 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 but I don't. But, no, no, no. We, we've, heard we've heard about it. But, but I never but, knew nobody but, that but was it, at the meeting. But it's it's kind of like that that letter from the KKK member. You get in jail. Where it's like a thank you, nigga, for for ruining your fucking life and da da da. And we're happy. It's supposed to make you feel like oh. We doing the wrong thing. It's time to switch it up because they're enjoying this shit. You know what I mean? When you no, hear about the meeting, it's but like, look, even, but, okay, we talking but, all this shit. But, but now even that, if we know hip hop was destroyed from the '80s into going into the it, '90s, it was somebody. But, but, but bro. when I say no, destroyed, the, the message the that, that these brothers was destroyed. Destroy. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, yes. And, and, and it changed in the '90s, and somebody accepted somewhere. N.W.A. Snoop Dogg. Um, all of that. Rap got accepted. I didn't hear niggers, bitches killing each other. I didn't hear that from the rap that was in the 80s. But when NWA, and there's no shot to those brothers or anybody like that, mm -hmm. but it's just the truth. I grew up in that generation. Well, that's the first I it was, heard it. it was well, a hard I didn't pivot. hear what niggers pivot. said well, in rap well, music well, and, or and, bitch and, or whore and, 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 or any of that and, until right. NWA. And chronologi chronologically, that did actually happen yeah, because right after pivot. right after Public Enemy came NWA. Yes. Right? right? One, two. Just just right. But, but now but here's but here's my point. I don't care if you had a meeting or if you didn't have a meeting. If it was talking about some bread, okay, this is how you're going to get your money or whatever it, whatever it is. Uh, they didn't say you had to stop caring about shit. Right. They just said you had to uh, 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 follow that agenda. Right. They didn't, they didn't say uh, 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 you got to feel the way about your motherfucking folks the way I feel about your folks. They never said that. Right. Niggas did that part on their own. Oh, but if record labels made a decision, made a conscious decision to sign people who were making a certain kind of music, as right. opposed to somebody who was, if you made a conscious decision to sign a gangster rapper over a brand newbie. That's a conscious decision. If, right. put, yeah. if I put marketing and dollars, on if I got 75000 that I could put behind the dude who's talking about shoot him up, bang, bang, gang, banging, blah, 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 versus the dudes who are talking about knowledge yourself, eat better, live better, protect your queen, protect your house, ah, 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 and I can give you 20000 I can put 75000 I already know which way that's going to go. If I can put 75000 towards the radio, give him 5000 right. I know which one is going to win out. I know who's, what you're going to hear more. And recognizing that hip hop is the influential power that it is, right. if my agenda is to fill up the prisons with these same people who I would, who I would, it would, it would behoove me to disenfranchise. Right. It's better for me if you don't come up. It's better for me if you don't come up. So if if that's my agenda, I hold on, let me finish it. Let yeah. me finish it. If that's my agenda, then the best thing I can do is go get this super influential creative force that's only living, that's born and raised in the inner city, corrupt it and make it say what I needed to say 
by offering these people a leg up out of their situation. So I can offer you money. I can offer you status. I can offer you all this good shit. You just got to say the shit that you already want to say. And I can dumb the whole thing down. And I can have you out in front. I can put these motherfuckers in the back who are talking about eat better, live better, own your neighborhood, buy up the houses, buy up this, buy up that. If that's where, if, and that's that's what they say the meeting was. No, private listen, industry. Listen, but, 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 I, 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 I slap my hands to that. But let me it's just say that, that, that meeting either. No, it's, it wasn't it's not just that. that. No, nobody nobody meeting, knows that the meeting that never happened. Meeting, oh, okay, but that alleged meeting right. um, was was directly about trying to enhance uh, the prison. Okay, the private well, prison, prison industrial right. industry. Yeah, right. Okay, you know what? Uh, right. But that that narrative, that narrative, ever since. Um, hip hop became commercially viable, okay, and controlled by corporations. That narrative is throughout. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. It hasn't been as blatant as that particular time. But if you look at, I mean, each part of hip hop that started getting positive, they was like, okay, knock that shit off. All right. No, but not, let's not, knock not that necess- shit off. Let's let's I do would, something. I wouldn't else. say necessarily knock it off, but let's be realistic. How many times you watch the preacher's wife? A couple of times. How many how many times you watch Training Day? Or Men in Society. A couple of times. Or Boys in the Hood. I'm about but, to but, say, but, but a little but, more, but you a get, little more. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Which one, which one, which one you going to be like, oh, it's Friday. Oh, shit. It's a difference. Preacher's wife is on. Yeah, let's get it. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's doing that. Hold on, hold on. And hold on, hold on. And classically, the voice of poverty, the voice of the hood, is the rebellious voice. Okay, hold on. And any you could go to High Live. You mm-hmm. go to uh 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 any any ghetto around the world. Mm-hmm. This it's the same song. But, but, it's the same oh, we gonna get it. Hit, hit, we, or we gonna no, kill hold on, you. Hold on. Here's you know what I'm saying? Here's, like it's the same song. It's a song of poverty. Here's the catch. I watch House Party more than I watch either one of the other two movies. Yeah. That's just you, Mac. Yeah, but <laughs> in the way, in the way, way head. No, 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 head. I watch that spot. I watch either it's one of the them. Way but see what it is. You, 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 you probably be like, oh, Terminator. Now, see, oh, no. It, but either you know what I mean? See, Terminator way to see that. The guy that just rather watch House Party. But it's the guy that would rather watch House Party that this culture was built on. It's his back and his likes and what he dug about this culture that why hip hop is here today. Right. Today we have a bastardized version, you know what I mean, a stripped down version of what the culture was in, in the beginning and intended to be first place because of these stories that, that are more interesting than, um, you know, uh, 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 let's say an NWA as opposed to a KRS-One. Right. When no, KRS-One but, explained but, it to you, you know what I mean, black, you know, uh, uh, figures in history and people who invented shit and this and this and that. It's like, yeah, all right, that shit is cool, but we want to hear this niggas and bitches shit. No, but, but, yeah, even, but, no, but even beyond but, that, but let me just say this, even mm-hmm. beyond that, when, when, when they start, when they started, uh, 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 whether the meeting is, is, like I said, whether it's real or not, mm-hmm. when they started doing that, it put black people on a false narrative. So in other words, not a hood is, was fucked up. Right mm-hmm. now, hip hop made the hood. That was our Disneyland. When we came back, we partying, nigga. We got places to go every weekend. I'm making a few dollars. You know, niggas is making records. Okay, now it's all good. So now, as as soon as it pick up with the gangster rap, the the, the the dynamics of what was going on in the hood didn't change. But the narrative coming from them records changed. So when motherfuckers is talking about the hood, which was so fucked up. The hood wasn't as fucked up as you said the hood was fucked up. Mm. And the bitches wasn't as fucked up as you said them bitches was fucked up. Mm. And and that and that's the false narrative that the shit drives to this day. And when you like uh, it, when it get to a nigga gonna kill this nigga, this bitch ass nigga, that's the nigga that's right there. Right. It wasn't nothing wrong with this nigga, but you said it's something wrong with this nigga, and they listened to that shit, and that's why it's fucked up. Right. And, 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 and and I'm saying you 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 could point and you could point at the white man at the industry. And 100% of the time, you would be right. But these niggas know what's coming out their mouth now. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that's like true. I said, in that meeting, they never told you that you that you ain't supposed to care for your people. Now, when, when I was young, Muhammad Ali, that nigga was the enemy of, of America. The most hated nigga in America. Right. When Joe Frazier knocked that nigga down in Madison Square Garden, everybody white and black, oh, they knocked that, that loud mouth motherfucker. To this day, he's the most beloved motherfucker in the world because he never gave up on his people. 
And he was the most shit talking nigga. He kicking ass. He talking crazy to white people. He he, he told he told he told he, he told him up. He said Joe Frazier. He talking to white man. Joe Frazier is more of an enemy to me than you. And he was talking to a white man. You see what I said? But he never forgot where his people were. Now now the the, 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 now, the point that I'm trying to make is these niggas just forget. And and, and this is the hood that they always love them embrace. They love street cred more than they love anything. Mm -hmm. They don't come nowhere near the street, but they still love this street cred. Instead of just coming and, and enforcing your motherfucking street cred, you let that you let the low nigga. And, and that's what going back to what I'm saying. So now this where, where whereas all these niggas could have wrote the law. We could have made the law. You could have come in the hood. You could have just said whatever you, you got enough money to hire a motherfucking small army. Hey, listen, you little niggas is going to do this is what the fuck is going to be. You just let the the, the, the narrative of, mm -hmm. of this nigga, of this nigga that's broke and he got to get paid and, and he hungry. You know, you let the narrative of that go to whereas now you got one law. Now, now look, now, now this is case in point where the motherfucker killed the nigga in, in Roscoe's, right? Mm -hmm. So now the, the narrative, okay, yeah, yeah they yeah. robbed this nigga. Oh, yeah, niggas is so hungry. You know, now you could turn out that his father and, and, and his woman got the nigga to go in there, but okay, now, now the, oh, yeah, they the wolves, they are hungry. Now you going to go and, and rob a nigga in Roscoe's and shit, so you rob a nigga in Roscoe. Yeah, yeah, okay, so now you take his chain in Roscoe's, you know, fried chicken and shit, and you kill his motherfucker in Roscoe's. But if you're so hungry, what you got some fucking chicken? You in Roscoe's, nigga. You in Roscoe's. Now, if you was hungry, you just wanted to take a nigga shit. Now, am I right? Am I wrong? You in Roscoe's. You hungry. Hey, hey, nigga, chain, chain, purse, watch. Food. <laughs> Bag up some of that motherfucking yeah, shit. Boy, I set it off in this motherfucker right now. <laughs> Listen, if you was hungry, but see, right. that's and that's the no. that's the narrative. That but he wasn't hungry. Right. His, his, his father led his son astray. Yeah. And and, 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 and and let him go in there to take some shit. You know, because that, that's the whole narrative. Oh, yeah, well, it, it's the same thing, same thing in, 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 uh, in Houston. Oh, yeah, because them wolves, they don't care. No, no, wolves don't care. Stop fucking with them wolves. They look at it after, after a while. Wolves look at everybody like they sheep. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Except, I'm not going to. Except gonna the police. Work. E even. Except the police. But I'm, but I'm saying, they, 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 they run it for that. Look, like I said, they, these niggas is in prison. These, these niggas is in prison. It is, 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 is a lot. That they think they doing, only thing they doing now, they just standing by in their hood. They can't leave the hood. You see all them dudes who got locked up out of Harlem this morning? Oh, oh yeah. Dude. Where oh, at? Yeah. What are you oh, talking about? Stack. What what projects was that? I uh, think it bro. was on the west side. I think it was it was either Grand Hamilton. Or, it was Grant or Matt Manhattanville. No, I think oh, it was Grant. Oh, Grant. 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 Oh, two fifth. Oh, they grabbed yep. the, the, on the stack, west side. stack. That gang, I think, stack three. Yeah, that's Grant. That's, that's yeah. Grant. Oh, they, 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 they that gang. They I'm saying they that down shit out. I'm in for a while out there. They ain't finished the count. When I left out the house, no, it was that, still yeah, counting. You know what I'm saying? And they all go to jail. Out. Look, look. Uh, yo, they got, they got mobile. They got mobile uh, units. Not, not, not that. Uh, yes, but they got mobile joints to take your fingerprints on the spot and match you up on the spot. So if they go in the house to get one person and he's sitting there, put your fingerprints right here. Oh, you got, you, got a you come in too. And like, they drag, they drag. It was, when I saw, when I, when I finished watching the story, I had to get dressed to come here. They was still calling yeah. people out. I got a call, and, I got a call and, about and that. So now, and and so right now with, that, with that, with that in mind, right? And, and how all this narrative is to, is to, is to uh, get niggas in prison and lock them up, right? What? And, and, it, and we all know this. Now this ain't, this ain't like some secret shit. No, they're trying <laughs> Yo, homie, they trying to. We all know this, right? Man. Why these niggas do shit to go to jail? Because they're Because they like going to jail. No, no it's not they, that. They, 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 it's not that. They, they duped. No, no, I mean, some, some of them niggas. Not, some not, of them niggas. In some, some, case, not in some cases, them. they do they like, like going, going to, jail. to jail because there's, there's, there's certain situations where you rank up 
after you go to jail. The shit they do, the Which shit is they ridiculous. do on like, the streets you get is caught. Behavior. Now, you, yeah, now you in a position to be a leader. Yeah, but look, <laughs> no, 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 how? That's true, that's you got caught. That's you know, we, we that makes no sense. Guys, guys, we that jail, makes no sense. It is like a, how are you the big homie you got caught? You could just stand out and get caught. You know what I'm saying? That makes no sense, bro. No, no, let's say some of them niggas feel very comfortable in jail. No, let's just say, let's just say it's some niggas that feel very comfortable in jail because look, what? Look, look, let's, let's just say I've never been to jail, right? What? I got to speak with this week, because I, I but, just came home not too but, long but now, But now watch. <laughs> what the fuck is the upside about jail? What is it? The food? What is it? The, the, you get the, close to the, the guy. What is it? The creature comforts? No, it's what happens when you come home. You get close to the guy. No, see, we, he, he's getting closer to the way I'm talking about. Yeah, they feel very the comfortable, and that's the same way they do in the streets. Look, you got, if you got eight niggas, no girls. You you comfortable around guys like that? The shit that niggas do in jail, they like punking niggas. They and and, and not even punking the punk niggas. They just want to punk a a, a a nigga. They'll tell you, they'll, 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 look, I ain't, I ain't even gonna get into exactly what I want to say. Right. But they won't punk the punk niggas. They'll punk a a, a regular nigga and make a punk out of him because that's what they do. I can't agree with that. I can't agree with that. No, no, I want to especially. I got to say something. They punking the punk niggas too. I got to say something respectfully, right? I did. I did four state biz in and out. Unfortunately, right? But I didn't realize that a lot of the reasons I was a recidivist and going in and out was because I had issues. Like I literally had issues, personality-wise, self-acceptance, peer pressure, all these different things at a young age. At a young age, due to my environment and the people that I was that I was around, right. my OGs, what I seen them doing, I wanted to do, in my hood in Red Hook projects. I want to be like Klein. I want to be like Savior, right? right? When you take them out of the equation, and I'm trying to follow their lead, now I go to prison, and then I, re I I recur the cycle. I keep going because ain't nobody snatched me up and say, "Yo, little nigga, yo, wow, what they was doing is not what you supposed to do. Pick up these books." Get in the weight shack, do this, do that, do that in the third. I didn't have that. And that's what happened with a lot of, uh, of young um, black fellas yeah. going into the system. They don't have that guidance. Right. So it's not always, I understand what you're saying because there's a lot of brothers like that. It's a lot. That go in there and they love it. Right. But I'm, see, I'm speaking on myself and some of the no, other brothers saying, I know. I went in there. I, absolutely. Look, look, Mel, Mel. I went in there and got my education. I made the... Mm -hmm. Best use out of my of prison time. I, and, and look, I'm sitting here now. Right. And, and, and I don't right. think they love it. Again, no man wants harm to himself. You, uh, when I said duped, you come under a mentality. One of the things I wanted to ask you was you said, did you want to go to jail before you went to jail? No. No. Uh -huh. But somewhere you get taught to accept the reality that you're going to jail. Right, but what Cassie yeah, says get, makes sense. It's you, a right of you passage. You get that, do you? Yeah. yeah to because some when I came home, I'm celebrating. Degree, so right, yeah, but that's to right. some degree. Right in your household, your mom, your pops, your family is telling you already. If you're walking the wrong road, you're headed to hell or jail. So already you set in your mind, this is what this it is. is. What's going you on. go out on the street. The OG niggas let you know. Yo, you're going to end up doing some time. You know what I'm saying? This is how this is. You know, you around a, a, a fake OG street gangster dude, that's what they do. You're going to do some time, little nigga, get ready. No, look, how, you know I, what I'm saying? So you how, already how, how, how old is everybody here? Think, how, how, think, how old are you? I think everybody, I think everybody okay. is He's right. a baby. How old are you? Full of shit. Full of shit. Full of shit. Full of shit, man. You ain't been to my birthday party? No, no, no. my cake? No, no, no. I was at the cake. She never had cake. Everybody could speak for their experience, or I could speak for my lack of thereof, because I'm, I'm claustrophobic. Once that motherfucker cell door slam, I'll tell you. I'll tell everything, I'll tell, I'll tell your motherfucking shoe side. That nigga, <laughs> hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey, hey, man, just crack that motherfucking cell, man. I'll tell you now, I'm gonna tell you now. Right? No, this is, no, this is me personally, right? right. And, and everybody would have that, but these little niggas out here, they ain't nothing like us. But see, and, and, and we ain't nothing but, like but, them. But they're they're different. But on. they're not supposed to be. Hold on. Hold no, on. no, no, no. But, but they not. Mel, Mel. Right. I hear what you say. They're saying. absolutely not. See, here's, here's the thing I think we're skipping over. 
I because I agree with what everyone here said. I think there's multiple factors to getting locked up to why someone will accept going to prison, why somebody might look forward to going to prison. We we had Bimmy sit right in that chair. Bimmy, mm -hmm. street legend from Queens, highly respected. I had to tell him as this one probably the squarest dude in the room. I had to tell him, bro, when we when me, me and my position would watch somebody like you come home and we watch you get celebrated for coming home. We watch people give you money. We watch people cheer you on. We watch the club shoot you out, shout you out, the DJs, huh? Everybody loves you. If I'm a kid, why would I be afraid of prison if this is what's on the other side of it? And nobody That's tells right. you the horror story. They just see you come home to fact. everybody loving you. Chris right. Rock had one of the best jokes. <laughs> yeah. You come home from college, nobody give a fuck. You come home from jail, you the man. No, absolutely. That's a fact. Yeah, Mel says that all That's the time. Fact. You know uh, what no, I mean? It's but, like, but, but you get same time. we get celebrated for the worst things that we do. You know what I mean? And Especially that's not it's not. It's a real thing. I got to it. I'll it. No, but here's the point. Now, here's the point. No, it's not the best. See, and here's the point on the other end. Not only the. See, what we're talking about is the prisoner. Now, look at how the prison is. They got the blood unit, they got the crit unit. In LA, they got the, you know, everybody got their own space. And then you got niggas on the outside, niggas, educated niggas, that want to make prison nicer for you. Like, you, you know, if, if jail would just be fucking jail, you wouldn't want to go back. But jail, you, they got more, they get more rest. They probably eat not better food, you, but you more food. You get your teeth food. fixed in jail. I'm saying, I did, did, me, no. yeah. nah, yeah. there's, there's a yeah. comfortability factor. Did you yeah. actually yeah. have yeah. out yeah. all that? Oh, no, 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 get the fuck out of here. No, what? Get the, get the, get the, fuck no. And, 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 yeah. and, you get the whole joint, your yeah. whole rack. You get your whole teeth, your whole oh, health. Free. And, and yeah. 99. Free 99. And you are no owned. 99. Product. Not a good thing. You are owned. You are their product. No, and, so if you are their product, they're going to make sure their product is taken care of. And how much it cost me to get my shit? Fucking and you're they, they have up. more power. No more. They have more power. It's, you, it's, it's, it's like the, the same. The, the wow. same. The same. The same. The same nigga that might hold that on, might yo. not be the biggest nigga on the block. When you go to jail, you could work your way up, or they could, or they could just, you know, uh, 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 uh you know, punk you and make you do shit. But it's, it's, the, it's the power dynamic, and that's the same shit. Like I said, that's the same shit they don't brought out in the streets. That's true. They they it's all true, clicked though. up. That they power, all, they that all power clicked dynamic up. is true though. They all clicked mm -hmm. up, and from block to block they clicked up. They brought all that shit, the sagging, the the, the gang banging. Right. They brought all those behaviors, which are all jail behaviors. Mm -hmm. They brought it to the streets. So you can go in. And y'all have me when you get out. to the hip hop yeah. part. Man. So, <laughs> <laughs> or, right. so, so, or, so, so, but, but, so but this is but hip hop is part of the culture. Just to clarify, just to clarify, hip hop is a culture based. That started from jail. See, jail. No, 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 no. They would, they would have you believe. They would have you believe that the gang element and the gangster no, element, yeah. and the street no. element, is started so hip -hop. prevalent. There was definitely a hip hop element, That's but motherfucking true. hip hop was our escape from yeah. the gang yeah. element, the exactly. street yeah. element, yeah. the cops, yeah. the guns, yeah. and all that. Other Original shit. hip hop had nothing to do. Okay, with it that. had nothing to do with none of that. Yeah, we we okay. part, we yeah. part yeah. out. They try this to portray it in, in, in documentaries and movies and, and docu series and all that shit. Nigga, hip hop didn't fucking gangsters didn't fuel hip hop. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Gangsters was doing gang shit. Motherfucking athletes was doing athlete right. shit. You know what I mean? And, and academic niggas was doing academic shit, and hip hop niggas was doing hip hop. Yeah, shit. and we was Absolutely. nothing like none of them. Okay, and, that, and that's that's what made the difference. We was nothing. Yeah. Like, like, like I said, I, I never shot nobody. I never said I never had to. Like if I if, I, if a motherfucker, if I had now if I had to, okay, but you know like I just said, if it's if he's like that hey, nigga, you know what I mean I'm, yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to drink and party, man. Go ahead. Man. Yeah. I mean it's right. us that it's us that trying to create this narrative now that um. Gangsterdom or whatever is so <laughs> a part, a, a part of motherfucking the culture. Right. Okay. And, and, and people will always try to recreate the narrative to make it like, okay, yeah, it was some negative shit behind this shit. But no, not hip hop. I'm not letting that shit happen. You understand what I'm saying? I'm some. I'm from day one, nigga. I grew up in the South Bronx. 
Boogie Down Bronx, New York City. I seen the, the fucking drug dealers, the graffiti artists, the motherfucking Great this dances. and that and everything. I chose to not fuck with all that and get involved with hip hop because it was, all that wasn't involved in it. And, and, mm. and. You understand? Because it wasn't no gangster, because it wasn't no drug, no, because right. it wasn't no, you know what I mean? And hip hop was our escape. And on top of that, that. Shit, it was our safe haven. haven. And, and on top of that. I don't gotta be a gangster. I'm doing hip hop. Right. I don't gotta be a this. I'm doing hip hop. I'm a hip hop nigga. And, right. and, and, and if you look at it and think about it back in the early days, niggas had a disdain for us because of that. Did the gangsters no, and the gangsters that? looked down on us like, oh, them little hip-hop no, niggas. Right. Oh, absolutely. Hey, hey, I with spoke the about that. Oh, 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 you gonna fuck with one of them little hippity-hop no, niggas, and, and huh? See, it, it yeah, I mean, like, we was less. But not, right. not it's not that it we was less. We just don't do what the fuck you do. But, we want what you got, but we don't want to do what you get to get it. You but, understand what I'm saying? We want a gold chain. We want a nice car. We want money. We want bitches. We want to pop bottles. But we don't have we don't have to do what you do to get it. But and, and so we and, wasn't emulating no, drug but, dealers. And, and cats could right. attest to this. No doubt. In, in the beginning, with, with the gangs and all the tough niggas, after a while, they bought into the hip hop. To side. us, right? After after they telling all the bitches, why you fucking with they them? Loved it just that's like how they got it with us. No, and they got it, and they got, and they was able to get a check out of it. Like like the the dude the dudes that we came up on, all the tough dudes, the casting over there was all ex Black Spades. Zulu, all of them was ex Black Spades. But with the Casanovas, they just so happened to be in our area. Once we started doing the parties, the Casanovas, they became security. Well, so, so whatever they, promoters. So whatever they could rob or steal, they would do that on the side, but they was the security. And, and motherfuckers thought that that we was with them, like, like, uh, uh, and, and then after a while, they wouldn't let nothing happen to us. Cause like we shouting niggas out, you know. We we shot them niggas out, so they bought into the shit. They're like, oh shit, we all stars, Casanova, all over. So now we all oh, stars shit, now. Man. So now, <laughs> so now we good, we good with them. But right. we would they we wasn't fucking with them, and they definitely exactly. wasn't fucking. Cause they knew, you know, they, 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 nigga, nigga, look at me back then. It's like, nah, he's not the lookout. <laughs> let me give you the point at us already. <laughs> that nigga point us out already. You gotta leave that nigga Bell. Leave that nigga Bell behind the fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> good to us out here. I mean, but, me, me, but same they, for me. But they same for me. Into the right. shit. I, I wasn't built it. for that. I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't raised like that. That wasn't my mentality. Right. You understand? So when I was around it, yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, oh, okay, all right, I, I'm gonna be over here. Right. You understand what I'm saying? My name was Casanova. My name was Casanova Fly. Back in the early days of hip hop, as a b boy, I'm the CAS and the OBA and the and rest then, is FLY. And then later on, a DJ and MC, but. The Casanova crew, like I was a Casanova fly as a b-boy and a, a, a graffiti artist. When I became a DJ, okay, now you now you in the in trenches with, with real hip-hop niggas, and Grandmaster Flash had a security crew called the Casanovas. Right. And these niggas wasn't b-boys. Right. <laughs> they, right. Black spades, gang members, and all that shit. Right. And I didn't know none of them niggas. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So as far as me coming out, I'm Casanova Fly. You hear Casanova Fly, you hear Casanova Crew. You hear Casanova Fly, you hear Casanova Crew. After a while, you start putting them shits together. Like, yo, he must be the leader of the motherfucking Casanova. Right. Or he must be down with them. Right. Or a part of it. Right. You know what I mean? But you wasn't. Hell to the nah. My name is Cas <laughs> now right. because of that. Right. Mm. Because I didn't want to be associated with a gang. Mm. I didn't want my name associated with that, and I didn't want what would what might come from people thinking that I was part of that shit. Right. I'm a hip hop nigga, not a gangster, right. not a street nigga. Right. So I just shortened my name to Cas, so it wouldn't be no confusion about me being part of the Casanovas, associated with the Casanovas, affiliated with the Casanovas, or have anything happen to me because of the Casanovas. You understand what I'm right. saying? And, and so leaders, this is how much, I, I just use that as an example and, of how much this was our lane. Mm, this was right. our safe zone. All right? Now, all that shit is included in fucking hip hop. Right. Mm. Yeah, the rap okay. nigga is the gangster nigga. The, the gangster, you know the, the gang, see, and that's the Don't say now. now. Don't say now. Everything that we, don't we say got now. No, it's been that way. It's been that way for a minute. No, for a minute. But that's a false narrative. Because because the nigga that you, you talking, nigga, you doing too much talking, nigga. You didn't 
to be you know, an actual gangster. You know, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, sure. and, a, and a real gangster wouldn't sure. come three miles away from none of us niggas because they, they, they think you know, we talk too fucking much. Right. Yeah. You know sure. what I mean? It's like bright lights. we ain't never gonna make a deal with you know. Yeah, because uh, next thing you gonna come out with a motherfucking record that you know I, I was with uh, uh, Manny Jenna B sat the fucking. No, we right, get, just us, get us all killed. <laughs> Selling key loads. Right, we get us all killed. Get every fucking body killed. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But, but uh, uh, and, and like I said, that that's a false narrative. And and, and, and see, and, and and at some point, all this shit is going to have to come to a head. Right. Because uh, uh, other than that, they're going to get us all killed. They're going to get us all killed. So, you, so you're telling me back in that time, um. I, I mean, I know from, from you know, just documentaries and hearing stories that the gangsters used to hang with y'all. Not hang with us. No, they Not was at the parties. Us. They they was at the party. Like I said, the the, the Casanova, they wound up, the, uh, it was Ray Chandler, uh, may he rest in peace. He was the one that was putting together our parties. We had the Black Dog Productive. So he put together the parties. How he had the Casanovas for security. So now they security. And then, and, and then this was the inside shit as far as our parties. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the bathroom. Because them bathroom. niggas be in the bathroom, Wait and anybody that come in that bathroom, they robbed you. Getting right. got. So all our people, they knew, don't go here. You got a piss in a cup, you got to go outside. Where, but you Christ. don't go to that fucking bathroom. Right. Because they, and, and, and that's where they made their extra, extra money, plus whatever, you know, whatever they were weed, whatever the fuck they were doing. But, but, that, but that was the whole hit. Is, and, and how we got, how, how I got cool with them niggas, how we got cool with them niggas is like this. One of them niggas came up on me one day, that nigga pulled his gun and I'm on stand, nigga grabbed me, my man, he pulled out his gun. Yo, yo, shorty, say so and so and so and so, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga threw me off my, and, 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 now, and now the average nigga right here is, oh yeah, yeah, you know what I said? Oh yeah, yeah, so and so, yeah, 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 like right now they they love us because they they knew we never we did. We validated them. Yeah, you know right. what I mean. Like mm -hmm. you know, right. but it was, it was two totally separate situations. Right. But then they come down with the Supreme with... Team. I saw a lot of pictures with you. And no, Supreme. see, the, 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 see that 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 was only one instance where Prince had gave a birthday party, gotcha. and we went out to Queens. We so we, we we actually met. Uh, 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 Preem and all of them, and Blue Eyed Born and Coley and all of them, they used to come up to the fever. So anytime that they, they showed, like on, on, on all that American Gangster, if they showed that red background, yeah, they was in the Bronx. Don't, that, don't, the one time that you see me on stage with them, that was the one time that we went to where they was. Agreed. And, and, and right. see, and, that, and that's, and that's, that's what he's it? talking about with that narrative, like saying that, that uh, they had more to do with us, no, uh, we had more to do with them because they, they came to the Bronx first. Right. Like we had our own thing. I never I never uh bought I never bought no cocaine from from Premium and we had our own we had our own plug. Right. You know what I mean? The Wait. the the one time that I ever got cocaine from them, it was free and I got too much of that shit. And I would never do that shit again. <laughs> what just happened? Like, how do we even get Why? to this? Like, like, <laughs> like, they did the show. Look, they, used to, they used to promote parties, you know what I mean? The drug dealers yeah, in the day, did. back in the day. And since hip hop had got big got like that in the yeah. streets, then they would hire hip hop niggas to come through and this but, and this. But, so but let's be honest. Part, and they pay you in cocaine. But, but, but back cocaine. then, back then, cocaine, doing cocaine was regular. Yeah, it was like it was, yeah, was, like, smoking, was, it was like smoking weed. Well, yeah, it was like it was like you know. It was a little more deeper than smoking weed. weed. Right. 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 I was smoke weed. Right. Not everybody was smoking. Not everybody. No, no, I'm saying it was, but it was, it was casual. Right. Until you got hooked. What just right. But then when when it, when I when I, when, when I, I get it. in other words when I did the party, you know they might have gave niggas a couple of dollars, but they I mean they had a brick. So niggas you know niggas was. And, and I swear, one of the niggas that came out with us, it was me, it was Cowboy, it was Busy B, nigga Al, and nigga Trini, it was like about, about maybe 10 niggas. One of them niggas, I never seen him after that night. Mm. <laughs> I never seen this nigga again. <laughs> you know, the media make it look like y'all was like true. No, like no, that, no. Like y'all was a part and, and, of the Supreme Team. I'm never good. Like, yeah, I'm never like, good. Yeah. After the party, 
We come home, it's like 9.30 in the morning. I'm down to that last bit that was in the bill. I said, I hit that shit and my nose started bleeding. My nose was, whoop. I said, I'm not fucking with these niggas ever again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, anybody want to buy this shit? <laughs> no, yeah, no, get the fuck man, out of here. Man, man, man. Man, man. Oh, he heard cocaine and pulled up. What he got? 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 He heard cocaine and decided. Oh, shit, bro. What he got? What does he have? I want to know what he had. Nothing. What you got? No, it's, it's an ace bandage. Ace bandage. Ace bandages. Yeah. Uh, we, we good, bro. I don't got no cash. You good? So good. now the the moral to the story is. Right. And to this day, I'll never let nobody get me high. Like even you, like like everyone, the nigga buy. I'm buying my own drinks. How long? How long did you partake? Was it just that one time? Or no, 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 no. We, I mean, cocaine. That was the life. I wrote the song "White Lines." Oh, that was it. That was all right. I'm surprised you met. Yeah. You didn't know what this was about. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know. Yeah. I was a little kid and I knew what it was about. <laughs> White <laughs> lines. I seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw the white lines in Beverly Hills Cop. And see, yeah, and see the thing. I know what that is. Wait, 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 Plenty of people have written songs about shit they've never done. <laughs> nah, All the time. No, nah, 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 baby. This, this to write, a, to write that one. Nah, baby. You had to know. The they was a front back, back then. Uh, they was a front back then. Setting that song up right now, and I never thought you actually did it. I just thought maybe oh, no. you watched it happen no, a bunch I, of times. No, I, 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 I went on a journey yeah, with that you motherfucker. Lie? Why hey, man. I always yeah. tell all your friends that they go my way. Bro, it happens. No, no, I, like no, absolutely. Like, what, yeah. really? Like, yeah. That's, that's how you feel? Yeah, hey, you have a deal. No, and like, and like I said, them, them motherfuckers taught yeah. me. No. And no. The motherfucker right taught me a very yeah. important yeah. lesson. Don't, Thanks. do not fuck around with niggas get high yeah. when you ain't got that money like how they got. What? Now, mm. if I would have had the money like we could have, we could have conversated, we could have, you know what I mean? But like I said, one of the niggas that came out with us, I never seen this nigga again. He disappeared. Cause them niggas had a brick. <laughs> niggas, niggas, was, niggas was taking ounces, like niggas. Was <laughs> ounces. You ain't, you ain't thinking just like, let me just carve this and out. No, exactly. niggas was exactly. taking that break it down. But see, <laughs> but see, I wasn't thirsty like that. I mean, right. we was good. You know what I mean? I, you know what? It wasn't like I was a thirsty. I was just going out. You know, you know, that was preming them. We gonna go show love. You know what I mean? Right. But that shit got, I got caught out there fucking with them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That nigga's still high from that. <laughs> hey, hey. It don't never come down. No, 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 no. I swear. I swear. Ooh, it. Jeez. One of the classic songs in hip hop to this day. I mean, the story. The shit today. The story, um, and, which is important for us, man, to, to, you know what I mean? Document this motherfucking culture with some kind of Absolutely. truth. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. once it gets away from the foundation, you know, the documentaries and the researchers and the so-called historians, you know what I mean? They're going by second and third hand information. They don't know what I know. Mm -hmm. right. They don't mm -hmm. know what he know. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, you mm -hmm. don't. And, and, and the, trans the translation is very loose. Okay, when you hear it from person to person to person. Right. All right. So. I mean, it's important for that narrative to be established uh, while we're here, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and give whoever's going to continue the story enough truths, okay, to continue the story in a truthful manner, all right, so our document doesn't get, you know... Um, convoluted. Yeah, right. com thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for that word. But, but, convoluted. But, but that's why we're here. Basically. That's you know why I mean? we're here. So I got, I got a question, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm 40 years old, right? I turned 40 in uh, July that just passed. Mm -hmm. So... Seeing how hip hop originated as party, feel good vibes, flow, you know, just having a great time, right? And then you have the street element that comes into, segues into hip hop, right? Do you feel like at the time when y'all first started that that would happen? That it would become a thing where like the streets would become an I element of hip hop? I would never, because, no. because you know no. why? No. There's no replacement for having a good time. Fun is fun. I'm but still part a party of having nigga. a good time is getting high. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But fucking you with still, the girls, but you, but all you, these things. Right, but, right, but the parties. Having a good the time. Look, right. of, look. Of, of the music and of the hip-hop look. culture. But outside of it, even though there's things that are involved in the music culture, they are no, as it's, it's still a good time. as they are out here. Look, look, I mean, look. drug yeah. scene it, it, and just doing a little drugs or doing a few lines or smoking some weed is different from the lifestyle look, we, of drugs. We in a party. That's what got permeated yeah, inside now, the culture. The lifestyle. Now, we in right, a party gotcha. back then. Gotcha. I did the shit originally just just to, you know, just to get them broads. And we, we, we knocked down a lot of them. You know yeah. what I mean? We knocked down a lot of them, right? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, the, so, yeah. see? So, so <laughs> nigga, 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 niggas in the party now, mean mugging. In the party. Right. Ain't thinking about a broad and you see you looking at you looking at you know you looking at the dude to see who looking at but and, and the broads is dancing with each other. Right. Mm. And you you see what I'm saying? They done took the party out of the party because the niggas think that the way and that's another false narrative, that the way you supposed to act in the club is you supposed to be the toughest nigga. Right, in be the hard, club. be right. strong. And all, and all be that like, shit don't... is like you, you, you know what I mean? It, 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 you like back in the day, if you seen two bras dancing, you, you we gonna break that shit up. Right up. Like, right. Yo, yo, go grab Shorty. Yo, you grab the other one. Let's break that shit up, man. Now, you now two it's girls like dancing with each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, cause we did. Well, just dance. because we guys dance. didn't dance, you know, you right? Know what I mean? like, right. like that right. So you'll see girls. Today, bitches dancing with each other intentionally. Right. Yeah. Uh, cause cause dudes ain't dancing. Shit up <laughs> like, oh, excuse me, my nigga. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the dudes ain't dancing. They, right. you know, they, they doing, you know, they, they got their own shit. They're the one with their strap. We, we haven't yeah. even Which, intro the show yet. No, we ha- Oh, shit. All right, we no. back. <laughs> <laughs> My expert opinion. <laughs> <laughs> hit that like, hit that shit. Let well, everybody why we know, stop this know you're in here. Right? Right. Oh, this is pre show. Don't cost you no paper <laughs> unless you're a motherfucking hater. Mac, what up? Salute. Don't think a man of God. Bro, it was good. Yeah, they call it Jazz. Jazz. in the front. Yeah. And listen, all right. listen. It was taping, right? What you, who have, yeah, yeah, yeah. who okay. you've been yeah. listening to? <laughs> two of the pioneers, two of the founders yeah. uh, of this culture that we love so much. You wear your hat to the back. Your hip hop. You wear, you wear bag, baggy jeans, or you wear the latest fat. It's hip hop. It's hip hop. You wear them tight ass pants. Oh, no, see. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's hip hop too. That's hip hop too. That's, they just did it with cowboy boots back then. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But you hip hop. Rhyme stuff. You hip hop. You brought it You got a hoodie with a ponytail home cut off in the back. That's, that's hip hop. Hip hop. We some creative motherfuckers. And we got, Dreads, Dreads, we got two Dreads. of the people who helped to usher this culture out to the world in the yes. building listen you got to know where you came from to know where you're going and this is what this episode is about we got grandmaster Cass and melly mo in the building Hello. <laughs> big body big body much respect <laughs> now, now, where was we at? Where was we, at? Yeah. Uh, we was about the party scene, yeah, and yeah party scene over, and right. stuff like that. Yeah. But like, two girls dancing. I used to be like, oh, nah, 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 we dance too. Little coach. Yeah, no, we could, no, that was look. They had a dance. No, you know, but they had a dance uh, back back in the day called the freak dance. Freak. Freak dance? Yeah, yeah. Freak. yeah. yeah they especially doing the freak. you just Never grinding. Heard that. No, what was it like? Oh, you want to go outside nah. and do the freak? No, <laughs> no, you just grinding. You know, yeah. and, 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 and and we played all kind of music. So his song, hey, hey I, I I dance, I dance to one of the bros so long, I, I thought she got me pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the I baby. Hated the the baby. Why why you hated, hated the freak? Why? Because um I come from the hustle era. Mm-hmm. All right, when the disco era when niggas was hustling, when you was dancing yeah. with the a hustle. girl, not on a girl. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I appreciated, you know what I mean, the, the, the flow and the way and the dance itself. Yeah. I was nice at that shit. Right. And then, <laughs> you know, the caveman nigga who ain't got no finesse, no style, no nothing. Let's just jump up on it. That's that freak dance. T- All right? Yeah. That's the freak. That became the freak. Right. So now niggas that used to spinning bitches and all that. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got any niggas ain't doing yeah. that yeah. shit. Yeah. Right. Right. That freak right. is the primitive yeah. bullshit. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it led it to the demise of it. And see, and Cass is like, how long it taught me to learn this dance? Exactly, nigga. And see, and back in the day, see, it's like how 
how now they got what's called hip hop music. Right. And cats could have test back in the day with no such thing as hip hop music. So we did it all. They did disco music. We had, uh, of course, we had the beats. We Radio, even played slow jams roll, at the, at the end of the party. Music. It would be, and, and, every, and everybody is slow dance, you know what I mean? And you have a chance for a girl to get you pregnant and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Slide up in something. You know what I'm saying? But, but, and those were the best of times. This is when, like, I, like you said, it was Disneyland. Why did that stop? Why did no, that no, no, the, no, com I'm, the commercialism of the culture um, pretty much stopped the culture from the way it had been going prior to that because it was just culture. Mm -hmm. There were no rules. There were no amendments. There were no, you know, there were uh, like kind of bylaws, you know what I mean? Morals, ethics. Right. to hip hop prior to that certain things you don't do you know what i mean like what bite people's shit yeah you know what right. i mean that was like an unwritten rule in hip hop what were the unwritten rules no biting no biting no bite nobody shit you know mm -hmm. what and I mean? you got to write your own shit you got to write your own, own, own shit right. you know right. what i mean to be considered an mc can't use nobody's right. name so, so let me get this straight <laughs> so the record that is celebrated as like almost the the the, the birth of, of hip hop was a complete bite, right? Rapid delight. Not a complete bite, but th th just the idea of it was a bite on yeah. what was going on in the streets of the Bronx in, right. in New York City. You know what? To, to be fair, that was the record that celebrated the commercialism of hip hop. Well, it's it, it's mm. the record that pretty much broke hip hop out into mainstream it's America. Right. That's commercial. Right. That's Absolutely. what I mean by commercial. And, right. and, and exactly like like that. Exactly like that. Because how, how the culture it, had been alive six years that's, prior to that's what I've heard. To, to, to Rappers Delight coming out. Six years. In, but in six years before that, it was already rocking. Yeah, we're talking about yeah. 73. Yeah, yeah. The first documented wow. hip hop party was given on August 11, 1973, what? at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue in, in the Bronx by Cool mm -hmm. Herc and his sister Cindy. Now, there's a lot of people who claim it's to have been, oh, we did this before that. I never heard of Cool Herc or anything. We never heard of you neither. I'm going to get this story from on this right. narrative. Mm. But the first documented mm. hip hop party with all the elements, you know what I mean? The B Boys, the Breaks, and all that. That's Cool Herc. And who that's, who that's, that's where we start this day from. They did. They did. Yeah, the it, it, I mean, it's, it's all on paper. paper. Yeah, it's video all on paper. evidence. That, that, you know, they had video of it and all. I got a copy of the flyer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's all on paper. And, 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 and let me be honest. The, 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 the copy that you have is a copy. The copy of Facts. the original flyer, which was done on an index card. Right. That's what my Okay, now you remember, now later on, flyers with paper, it had pictures on them and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Party flyers from the 50s to the 60s was on index cards. And all the information was written time, date, place, how much, and all that shit on an index card. They didn't hand them shits out like right. that. Right, motherfucker might have charged $1.50 fifty to get in. It like, was it'd be 25 simple. cents See? <laughs> for girls to get in See? and 50 cents wow. for guys to get in. What a bargain. You, you know how that shit works. Yeah. You, let yeah, the, you let the girls in for cheap. Right. Yeah. Charge the niggas a little extra. They yeah. gonna pay whatever because it's filled with girls. girls right, right, right. So that's yeah. where that idea came from. You had to find them quarters from. back then. <laughs> you had right. to find them that's quarters. Crazy. So to this day, like I said, I mean, we coming up on the 50th anniversary of hip hop, and the, the anniversary is that day, August 11th. Okay, that we celebrate the birth of hip hop of 1973. Seventy three, bro. We, we need we need to have like the the, the, the celebrations. It should no. be twenty five cents. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. That'd be have wild. a party. Have a party. Yeah, have a party. Yeah. Have a party. Yeah. Yeah. 25 cents for guys. 50 cents. Uh, yeah. How about 25 cents for girls? How about 25 cents? 50 cents for guys. No, no, no. It's, it, you could do that, but the and drinks, today, dollars, you could drinks is going to be like $100. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks is going to be $100 a shot. And $50 for guys. Yeah, that's still cool. come on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just celebrating the difference and I guess the inflation. Right. Okay, from then to now. Well, no, I, 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 I would like the 25 cent shit. Just, <laughs> yeah, that 25 cent charity shit. Lit. Of course. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So much other shit going to be going on where we going right. to get bags from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can Absolutely. do it. Uh, 25 Correct. cents. Like an out, like yeah, out, like outdoor joint. But, you know, let everybody throw their quarter in their 50 well, cent. That, that, that'll right. probably be my joint. Cretona Park. Yeah. Games, you know what yeah. I mean? So I've been there you go. for 22 years. There you go. And if you put me on the flyer, 
Mm-hmm. Nobody will call the index call. <laughs> 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 On the index call. Yeah, fucking Mel again, right? Man, I, I, got, I got the copy right here. A DJ Cool Herc party. Back to school gym. Yeah. Let me see yeah. The too, back right? to school gym. Wow. That's, 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 that's the copy that of joint. Got past that wow. wow. Somebody drew this on mad index card. So you and, tell and, me and this. Tell me this. Not yeah. to fuck it up the yeah. whole yeah. How could you? How could you yeah, bear myself. witness Dude. to something like that, which represents the birth of wow. a culture that has created a multi-billion Sydney. dollar industry Ooh. and the biggest genre of so music in the world okay. right now. Right. How could you right. disrespect anything that led to that? Mm. How could you say so? Like, now, now we're, 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 you know where I'm going with it. How could you? I'm talking about this nigga, academics, DJ academics. Yes. Haven't yeah, spoken yeah, on yeah. it before because right. I'm on a I'm on a politically correct platform. Right. Okay. But right, right now, nigga, we in the spot. We in the spot. Let's get it. Pure, Let's get it. Pure Yo, D, you about to get it. Pure D bullshit. Here, here we go. Right? Yeah. From a That's nigga right. who don't come from our era, who mm-hmm. can't, res- who doesn't respect our era. Okay, right. we are we untouchable. Facts. We Absolutely. untouchable. Facts. Nigga, you Absolutely. can't say nothing about us. Absolutely. That's you can't fact. disrespect us. You can't say we're irrelevant or we're not relevant or whatever the fuck. You have no fucking right, nigga. You can't even do it. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. Right. We're yeah. the gods of this shit, nigga. We built this shit. This whole culture is built on our fucking backs. Mm-hmm. You understand? And the fact that we're still here physically. Okay, Fuck nigga, you should erect statues to us, motherfucker. Instead of saying they're talking about we dusty, you know what I mean? Or, or we not relevant. Or we'll, we'll always be relevant. As long as anybody today doing what we started is relevant, we relevant. Mm-hmm. You understand right. what I'm saying? Right. 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 It, when hip hop wins, we win. Okay, mm-hmm. we applaud the successes of, and all the milestones that have come along. The people that have taken hip hop and have been rewarded are from hip hop way bigger than us. Right. We ain't mad. We take that as a win as well. Mm-hmm. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So for you yeah, to take us, and yes, there are a few disgruntled old school cats. Yeah. I could be, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 No, no. Right. I'm saying, for the most part, you just cats. For the most part, we we gave birth to this culture, and every generation we look upon them as our kids, man. Right. We look at them as our kids. When your kids do right, you hug them, you applaud them. When your kids do wrong, you spank them on a fucking ass. Right. That's mm-hmm. what you're supposed but to. do. But you gotta understand, actors gonna watch this and be like, "Don't clap for that bullshit." No, but but, nah, but you know what he did? Right. Yeah, I mean, you know what he did is he opened up the floodgates. But people like Twenty One Savage to come along and say something like Nas is irrelevant. Absolutely, no, 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 okay. no, no, no. At that. one point, that was a marketing strategy for mad new artists to say something. What about to troll? This person to troll a whole artist? Yeah. To yeah. troll a veteran? No, because no, think that about that it. shouldn't be allowed. No, no, okay? it, it shouldn't don't be allowed. Use, don't try to build no reputation off me, motherfucker. Right. Yeah. Not no, off and, what I did and what I brought and, to this and, culture. And, and going back to what, what he's saying, it did not, now I could see if he did this. You said what you said. Mm-hmm. And now get the person that you was actually talking about. Like if Tiski Valley raped your moms. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, why, cause why would he just go right there? Right. But that's not the case. Right. Right? Jimmy Spicer is not his stepfather. (laughs) That's not the case. (laughs) What he did was this. He's the same nigga that got all them bodies from them Chicago niggas. He talking shit back and forth. And when he put that shit out there, he normalized our shit so that anybody could just come up out of the woodwork. Yeah, fuck them dusty niggas. Mm. They don't know nothing about us. They don't care nothing about us. He never, Like I said, he never actually said or give them a chance to get on the show okay you know uh, okay if Talk this was the nigga you had the problem with right all right fine right but you got to understand I represent, he represents a generation of people who feel like he represents he represents no, no, no. No, he, he represents represent disrespect a, a generation no, no. Of people. he does no, there's no, a generation wait, 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 wait. that feels like if you don't got money you nobody oh okay okay you feel i what understand I'm that i understand and, that and, come, and, and that, you know what that's his shit and you know you what, what I'm saying? and you know and, what he could be right. 
But now nobody's nobody. Ain't like all you niggas is Jay Z. Right. I, I, right. I, don't, I don't, don't respect, nobody's nobody's nobody. I don't respect that. Case. <laughs> I don't respect that because because uh, act unless your parents were rich. Like how you look at them. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Mm. How you look at your no, family? No, see, but that that's that's another. Like, like that's 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 kind of it's that's kind of no, wild. That's just, another one to of just those. Jump out there and say that. But I get what he's saying. He's saying like, why haven't these guys? Why why wasn't there an opportunity for these guys to make the pick? No, we did it. No, no, no. Don't say these niggas is dusty. No, 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 let me know. Say say Jesus. No, no, let me know. Who didn't? Who didn't? Who never made it to the money? But you never know. No, no, no. He might have tried to go down. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, he was mad. Derogatory shit like niggas, old school niggas is dusty. No, I will never. Ain't no excuse you can give me for that. No, that's crazy. There is an excuse I can give. There is dusty. There is an excuse you can give me for that. No, have you ever watched the academics live? What, his show? Yes. No, He's a no, drama nigga. He's got blood no, on no, his no, hands. No, no, no. Where's the Henny bottle? Behind you. Oh, hey, hey, to me. No, the nigga. How, how many niggas? How many niggas you <laughs> look, look, look. How many this, this is This is how it goes. Yeah, so I was online watching the, watching the, uh, 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 one of these rappers they was talking about. Hold on. Yeah, so so, so you gotta go oh, look. Wow. You gotta go look up. No, no, I'm saying, but my point is, he this. be drunk. <laughs> no, but he be drunk. Bro. No, but see, wake up the next morning and be like, oh shit, it's going on. Fuck it, I'm running with it. No, you know what what, I mean? what you no, say I, when I, you I, drunk? I, you 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 yes. was you, you meant to be sober when you yeah. said that shit. A drunk yeah. mind is speaking speaking sober. There you go. You know what I mean? So exactly. I can't agree with that. No, I said some real fucked up shit. No, 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 that I did not mean. Okay, okay, no, no, you meant it. No, just didn't mean it. But my my. <laughs> that's exactly, that's exactly there you go. That shit, was, nigga. You just told no. me for it to come out. That's exactly what it is. But my point, my right. point is very simple. You don't normalize our struggle mm-hmm. like it was easy uh, uh, for us to do what we did, mm-hmm. yeah. or, or, or like y'all had it so hard. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's like that's like a uh, 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 prince uh, uh, talking bad about the temptations and, 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 and the supremes in them. Right. And the Dells in them that nobody, they nobody never made no money. All the greatest R&B acts, none of them niggas never made no money. Mm-hmm. We, uh, 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 the, the early days of hip hop came on the end of that. We just settled a motherfucking case from 40 years ago. Now, now. What case? Now. Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill. Are you crazy? What? Now. Wow. I just settled that? Just settled that? I'm talking about now. Wow. Days now. Holy shit. You and, just got- and, and, and the lawyers is going to get all the money. That's absolutely The lawyers is going to get all the money. Because that's the way the game is played. For some resolution. That's the way the game is played. There's a case of what's going on. What's going on for settlement. Oh, oh, damn near 20 years, right? So they now, so now, so now, a, 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 a guy that, that signed a deal right now, they throw all the money in the world at him. Now, I'm, 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 I'm a rock and roll hall of famer. Mm. It ain't nothing that I didn't do. <laughs> And, 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 I, and, I always, and I always kept my, 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 my game up. Right. I, I'm still to this day, I'm one of the best looking niggas. Standing next to these niggas. We, we, we'll see. They're going to see. But for look, him. I, look at the guns. At. But, but. Look at the guns. Yeah. But, I don't think you want to run into this. No, but. Click, click. Hey! I don't think you want to run into this. But, 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 don't normalize what we do like it's the same thing that what they do. Right. Because like I said, that makes it easy for one of the wolves. Oh yeah, that's that nigga. Yo, fuck that nigga. No, so because just like I can't yeah. say, we supposed to be off the books. And, 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 and I know, I, I, I call it the way I see it. If I say a nigga ain't shit, I said the nigga ain't shit. Mm. But th- th- that's like Kareem speaking on Kyrie Irving. Could he be wrong? Maybe. Do right. we have the right to say it? Absolutely. He scored the most points. Mm. Absolutely. Fucking Kareem. Right. And, 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 and that's who we are. But see, once motherfucker try to normalize it, it makes us less. And then you can do that. Mm-hmm. But these little wolf niggas, they're going to forget about you quicker than you're going to forget about me. Right. And that's why you're supposed to uphold the standard. That's why Holly was saying about 21 Savage and Nas. You don't speak on Nas. But but uh, I in in twenty and you can. There's been a lot of rappers who come out and said Tupac was whack, Biggie was whack, or this but such and such is irrelevant. Every time. You've been corny every time. No, you can say I'm that. I'm gonna say in twenty one's defense. I listened to his 
uh, I don't want to call it an apology, but them trying to clear it up. He's right, saying, right. He, he backtracked. Right. He was saying, statement. I'm saying as far as my generation, they don't necessarily listen to Nas, but Nas is Nas. You know what I mean? Like His generation no doesn't listen to Nas. Yeah, it's hip-hop. I didn't believe yeah. that either. It, no, his, no, no, look. look he, see, right. and this is the false narrative uh, uh, that is a generation gap uh, uh, between the young, a young rapper and an old rapper. There's no generation gap in hip hop. All the music is recycled. One of them bras just did a thing on 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 YouTube Boy, where she used the it's message. The message. It's right. all it's the message. recycled. Right. I, mean, I don't give a fuck. Well, if I say don't push me because I'm closer to that, I'm trying not to. You, you'll say the shit. Right. That's you know what I'm saying? Right, but right. that's so a fault. Oh, but for, 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 for the record, for some yeah, of y'all that, 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 that don't understand, that did not start with Puffy and Mace. All right. Mm. That did not start with Puffy. Your audience that young? You yeah. had to explain that uh, shit to no, them? Yes. No, 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 no. Funny thing about this show? No. And those that 24 yeah. to 55 yeah. level. Yes. You got those that know. No, but it, 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 it is no. Because ain't, no ain't no other the, show, I think, that, that it's yeah. like that. If you know, you know. You yeah. know. No, you because when, we, when we started hip hop, we wasn't thinking about it like, Oh yeah, but we gonna play the latest music, which was disco, or are we gonna we uh, if we if we was rocking, if it had the beat, if we was partying off it, if it was a good slow jam, we played it all. Oh, That's hip hop. Right. No matter what it was, disco, disco was hip hop. You know what I mean? Or so no, and, and, and like I said, that's a fault. Oh Reggae. no, 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 Melly, Melly Mel, he's outdated. So then why did Puffy do my shit if I was so out there? Why did Das Effects do that shit if I was out there? Ice right. Cube. This the new why? chick. Right. And, 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 so, and somebody's you. gonna do it again. Everybody speak about you. Everybody speak Be, about you. Because both it's things. never out. But see, see the thing is, it, it, it's it's uh uh if you separate a a young man from an older man, this uh steel don't sharpen steel no more. Mm-hmm. So right. what what see what what y'all doing as y'all you're gonna yo oh yeah because young yeah they got all ideas but you young it ain't gonna be the right idea all the time right. you might have you might you it might be all right right like like and they were yeah you gotta try talking to no young nigga you gotta prove something get old first get older then then we might talk but just because you young and I'm a lot older than you and I know I could tell you the right thing and you just talking. The fuck I'm talking to you for? Nah, nah Mel, the, and this is where I gotta stop because I feel like the same respect that we give to the generation that came before us, it should be given to the generation. They know, but they don't. They, no, forward. no, these are some of the most disrespectful niggas now. And that's, who, that's what I've heard. I, these are some that? of the most disrespectful <laughs> niggas now. <laughs> so now, so now, who's so now, I'm, 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 who's that? So, who is that? That generation. So no, 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 no. No, no. If you ain't got no money, it don't count. It don't yeah. count. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. It, no, it don't. It don't even. Because they have see, a different no, we set beyond up, that. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, we beyond that. These niggas. Hey, hey, look. I swear, I'm one of the most disrespectful. I'm one of the most respectful. Yeah, yeah meth, meth. No, no, say that. No, say how you say it. You be No, no, no. No, no, no. Set right there. We gonna get to that. No, 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 no. We, we, no, no. We, no, no, we, we, we would need to get to that if he was here. Right. <laughs> yo, Other than that, yo, but, but now listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm one of the most, not to, to rappers, to people. To, mm. to the people. To I the respect. People. To a top nigga, a bottom nigga, I respect them all the same way. Right. I don't hold a door for nobody no more. Because them niggas that come through the door, you can hold a door like they you like you the fucking doorman at the Al Gorka Hotel. Mm. I don't even hold a door. They're too disrespectful. See the niggas sitting on the stoop, you come by the stoop, they're trying to give you a little, they stand up. Yeah. They're too disrespectful. So now you you ain't you you, you it's, it's impossible to respect somebody that's disrespectful that's like how these they will piss on a nigga grave. Mm. They had the niggas in a project, them niggas told me they killed the nigga, these niggas went and got the fucking tombstone and brought it in the fucking projects. Bro. So now you got you got you mean to tell me you got to re- if anything let them niggas know they fucking up, they fucking up. Right. And, and and that's and that's my whole thing throughout all this hip hop shit. When shit is going bad, it's going bad. I don't I don't give a fuck how much money in they got. But where did this shit take us? Where, right. where did we come from then? Where are we at right now? As a people, these niggas will murder you. Yeah, but but I mean across the scale, it is what it is. 
The movies have become more violent. No, but I'm saying the it is what you make. Video games are more violent. It, like all this shit but, is turned. But up. that the re, there, it, there was no standard. The standard just kept. But FCC, that don't the mean FCC kept going like this. I don't know what y'all doing out there, but do what you got to do to make no, that but money. No, I'm saying, but that don't mean that you can't have common decency and respect because just like i said earlier we the, the 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 white elephant in the room is we don't give a fuck about our people we can't take care of our kids and we don't respect our fucking women and a lot of that shit is behind the songs that these niggas say i know you gotta Absolutely. understand i agree i don't have no respect for my elders because my dad was not there my mom's was hooked on drugs I had to take care of my brothers and sisters. This is most of these niggas' story. You dig what I'm saying? So when they look at story. that, they, in their mind, they're like, these niggas failed me. I don't got no respect for them. You got That's you, a lot of them. No, you, but you, well, you know what? Respect is, it is, is an inbred thing. Either you're a respectful nigga or you just a disrespectful nigga. Well, if you want to learn from disrespectful niggas, you just going to learn to be a disrespectful nigga. It's an inbred thing when a nigga do something nice for you. When a nigga's trying to do something too right by you, how you, you, you I mean, how you, look, we, we walking down the street. Now, we all right here. There's a nigga that's walking down the block right now. He ain't got nothing but what the fuck we got. He on that block right there with us. And then we going to bum rush this nigga and take his cell phone. And this is what we do. It, it, this is you, how we do it. But, 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 but that's, and it's not the right thing but, but, to do. But, but, but understand, them kids that bun rush him, they don't feel like they belong to anything but that they little don't. circle. No, they don't. But that little circle. Oh, they don't. And they outside trying to find themselves. Do we have heart? Are we strong? Are we? What are we? Because we, there's nobody in a household telling us, oh, your last name came from this, your great-grandfather was this, and, and, and your great-great-grandfather was this. They don't have nothing and, to connect and, and, to. And that's, a, and, that, and that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I bet, but, but no, 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 but I bet, but I bet you this, when you scare them niggas, they respect that. I'll mm. tell you what, I'll mm. tell you what they wait, respect wait, wait, even did, more. Uh, rest in peace to Chief Simeon. This was a brother that came through my neighborhood and told us we was king. We came from the blood of kings. We were strength. Lined us up. We talk, I'm talking about teenage hood niggas. Lined us up in the line after telling us how great we was and be like, they told us, yo, line up. Just everybody lined up. It's like 10 of us. We lined up and we walked around the block. And he was like, look at their reactions. Look at everybody. Look at everybody. How they looking at y'all when y'all organized, when y'all move as one. Look at the power that you have. People was crossing the street like, yo, what's up? Where y'all going? Like, what's Can I come with y'all? What's this? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? They join in and and they that, wanted yeah. to join in. And I was like, oh, shit. All we did was walk around the block in a single foul, and it drew everybody's attention. Those elders, we respect. Because they, they right. you showed me something about myself I didn't know. Right. You know what I mean? But now, a lot of these young boys, now if you, they're not getting that. No, no, but they're getting a pack. No, but you know what? Yo, come here, young nigga. You, you, you fuck no, school, no, nigga. No, take no, this pack. No, no but I, you I, know I, what? Yo, uh, give, give me, give me, give me, give me ninety-five percent of that. You keep five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what they dealing with. So they, they, they don't have the respect, the same respect. But, but see, at the end of the day, either, either you, either you gonna have to get it, or you just ain't gonna get it. Right. The, and, and, and and as far as this hip hop shit go, the niggas that's supposed to be telling them, they ain't saying so. A nigga, a nigga, a hip hop nigga that graduated from college, he don't tell these niggas I graduated from college. A nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, uh, 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 that, 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 no, a, a, not lying about that. No, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga that's happy with his home life. Like, okay, a nigga done made it. You know, he he don't he don't live in a. Would you please tell them niggas that that the hood ain't the place to be like that? Right. Could you please tell them? Right. And just like I said up uh, uh, from earlier, could you please tell these niggas that you need some fucking white friends instead the of just going by married, instead of just going by the black cool. devil shit and you know you rocking with you know you rocking with them. Mm -hmm. I wish I could see the, the the white boy that'll rock with me. 
Right. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and I could do or, some or, shit. And, or, or, and, or the and, Chinese or the Italian. No, or white. That is cool. I'm saying. An Arab would be. An Arab would be. Bro, you trying to make a fight out of shit. You got to get ahead of your thing. An Arab would be preferable. Like one of the rich Arabs. Like, you know how them niggas. You know what I mean? Uh, don't look at me and say this stuff. No, no, no. Hey, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell it true. Because I, 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 ain't, I, ain't, I ain't the rich nigga and I ain't the broke nigga either. But I'm the day one nigga. We, we, we brought a game to the table. Mm. Yeah. I know how the game is played. Now, I, think, mm-hmm. I think part of what you're describing, I think, put, here, here's the issue as I see it. There are many different facets because we are multifaceted people. We run into a ton of different issues. I think every I think one thing that happens in this room every night, every night we 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 get busy sparring like this, everybody has a different angle. Nobody's angle is less legitimate than anybody else's. That's why I can have these long ass discussions with him. Because when he's coming with when he has his angle, he's not lying. You think right, what I mean? Absolutely. It may not apply to everybody. Absolutely. No, Didn't apply to me. May not I got apply that. To that came across. Yeah. Exactly. But he's not wrong. And I think we need to see it more that way. That there is more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to get in this door. Because not every answer is going to... As an artist, the way I would market him is not the same way I would market another artist who's on his, who's on his roster. Brooklyn Hands. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't market him the same way I market you. Right. You think what I mean? Does that mean he's better than you? Nah. Does that mean you better than Nah. But Different if, lane. You Different see what lane. I'm saying? But right. they can both get in the door and be successful. I wouldn't market Method Man the way I do Jay-Z. Right. But they both ultra talented MCs. Does that make one of them? No. We as a people are multifaceted, which means we run into problems and issues across the board. We don't have one problem. We only had one problem. We came up with the answer by now. Right. I think the biggest issue is we keep trying to make one answer fit this Every multitude problem. of problems. Yeah, yeah. Even something as simple, and it's not simple, even something as simple as going to jail. And I'm pointing at Champ because Champ knows. He, he talks about the different kinds of dudes he sees get locked up. Right. There's a dude who's getting locked. What, what, you, what you looking for? Bottle. Bottle. No, I didn't mean to break up your conversation. No, no, that's cool. Mm-hmm. There's, there's one dude who gets locked up because he's starving. He's starving. He's after the money. That's all he cares about. He's trying to get money. But there's another dude. He's desperate. Desperate is the word. Thank okay. you. Desperate is the word. There's another dude who gets locked up because there's an attention fact. There's a glamour to being locked up. There's another dude who gets locked up because of what Bigger said. Because... He accepted the inevitable. He's been told that this is the path. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. He's not desperate. He's not, you know, looking for the glamour. He just accepted this is what comes with what I'm about to start doing. Right. Those are three very different kinds of dudes, and you got to talk to all three of them. And I just, I just mentioned three. I'm sure if we right, really right, sat right. here, it's more. Yeah. We come up with thirty. There's right. more mindsets more, as well. Yeah, but more. all three of them dudes is gonna need a different approach. I can't talk to the first one the same way I talk to the second one. The dude, the little kid who watched the dude come home from jail and get a free car, get a bunch of money, hang with all the celebrities, get in the party, get shouted out. I can't talk to him the same way I'm talking to the desperate cat, the cat who's literally only committing these crimes because he doesn't know there's any other option for him. Period. I think if we just zoom out and we start talking about why we do some of the shit we do, why we disagree with some of the things we disagree with, if we zoomed out and realized that we're coming at some of these issues, the same issue, but we're coming at it from so many different places, we could get a little bit more an- we could we could if I if I respect his answer to the to the issue, mm-hmm. if I respect his answer, there's nothing wrong with that. How many dudes do I know that that applies to? That his answer would directly work on, and I'm sitting there beating them in the head, trying to push a square peg into a right, round right. hole. Like, that ain't it. No, no, exactly. I'm right. the same way. I respect, I, I might not agree with your answer, but I respect your answer as much as I respect mine. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And your right to have it. If right. we understand his answer, though. Like, I'll not take just the respect value it. out of it, whatever I can get out of right. it. Right, you know what I mean? Right. right. Understand, I look to understand. <laughs> 
One of, one of my pops' lines was, don't argue to win the fight. Argue to get an understanding. Don't, mm. don't argue to win. If you are, if you're with somebody who's arguing with you to win, leave them alone. Right. If somebody wants to understand you. Argue to get an understanding, because then it's not really an argument. I'm just trying to see. Right. I'm not trying from. to win. I just want you to see see, my, my point. But right. see, now, now, now we, we like, uh, well, Cass, no, we got a school program, and I, and I talk to kids all the time, and my whole thing is, uh, you gotta let them pick up. Either way, they're gonna. I, Either way, they're gonna figure out shit. They're gonna try to figure out figure it out on their own. Now right. I got kids, right? right? I'm gonna tell them one time. After that, I got other kids. I'm not worried about that shit. You're gonna figure it out on your own. Right. But you know, everybody try to you uh, uh you know, and, and and I never said that I would talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. I never said that. <laughs> I, fuck you. I, I ain't fucking with you like that. Now, right. you know, but I'm, I'm I'm gonna say what I think, and then you gotta figure the shit out on your own. Right. You know what I mean? But just, you know, like how motherfuckers be coming up with shit. Oh, yeah, well, school ain't for everybody, but you still got to know something. Oh, yeah, well, uh, uh, well, well, job ain't for everybody, but you still got to work somewhere. Mm -hmm. So this is the shit where when you listen to a, a, enough of the easy way out shit, it's easy to go wrong. Right. You know Definitely. what I mean? Right. And, 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 and that's where I think we, we um, did the, the biggest disservice to these motherfucking kids because they ain't responsible for nothing. So now if they ain't responsible for nothing, guess who's responsible when they go bad? We are. Right. And, 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 and it ain't on us like that. Because I, I, re I remember implicitly when I was a kid, I did every fucking thing I wanted to do. But I was lucky enough to be the nigga that, 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 that uh, made up MC and, 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 and gave a birth to hip hop. Right. These niggas, and I tell them kids all the time, y'all ain't that lucky. I had a year and a half to get my shit together, to figure out who I could be with. These niggas got like uh, two two days, three days, sometimes not even that long. As right. soon as you get out in the street, that's when the clock is ticking on these motherfuckers. Right, right. who are you? Right. What the get fuck the is porch. you going to do? Like, right. what's good? It, 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 Where it, you from, my nigga? Like, what's good? Right. Like, you got to come up with something. It, yeah. Right it, there. It, it, and and my whole thing, it. especially with these niggas, you've got to make the right choice right. and, and 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 it ain't the choice that i said like i said i'm not telling these niggas nothing i you know i'm not i'm not gonna be because i know you can't do it you can't do it like how i do it or you can't do it like or you, whatever you, work for me you see what i'm saying it's all, all, for you. You. i can't all, tell you to take my path right. Right. and right. do what i did because right. that might not work for you so right. different but, hands but i can tell you time. the mistakes that i made so you don't make the same exactly. i can right. tell you what i did right. you know what i mean right. and what another, i got out of it another thing another thing yeah exactly another thing i see is that i think a lot of younger artists and even brothers and sisters from the hood uh don't really recognize the fact that what y'all did for the culture is what set the standard for the evolution now. Like if y'all brothers didn't do the things that y'all did, the parties, the break dancing, going over the 12 inch vinyl of disco beats, all of this stuff, there would be no evolution to the point that it is today, regardless of how negative it is, how positive it is, wherever it's going. But champ, even, even bigger than that. Even business wise. No, even bigger than that. It wasn't about the business, they did it because of right. love. Yeah, right, right. They love. did it out of love. They and did it because evolved. of love. It evolved. You know we learn from mistakes. It's we a, learn from a lot of shit that happened in the like, past. Like, like they, they are that kid that's writing in his room that don't know if he's going to get a deal. He don't know if he's going to become the biggest star. But he's excited but he over loves, the rhymes. He's excited over the rhymes. These are, are those people. I yeah, said that exactly. You dig what I'm saying? I said that standard. And, and, right. and you just said something I don't want to skim over because we say so many things. If we had never, three hours, four hours could never be enough time to get the information we need. No doubt. No doubt. Right. So let me put that out there. Y'all are like, right now this show is kids for like 50 years, 100 years go on now. If they want to understand hip hop, they're going to go to this show and they're going to watch and hear what you guys say. You just said something about MC. You created MC? I oh, was the first. I created the, the term MC. Mm -hmm. That needs to be heard no, right no. now. Hold on. Let me clarify this. That needs to be heard. Well, it means mic controller. Listen, so, MC, right? mm -hmm. the traditional term mm -hmm. for, for speaking ceremonies. rhythmically over a microphone is called MC. MC. And it stands for Master of Ceremony. Okay. Right. Because traditionally, the person that we saw on the microphone making announcements and talking over it, it was the MC, was the Master of Ceremony. 
So right, the EMCE. E. That's hold, that's. Hold on, let, let me do this. Mm -hmm. oh, so he, he got he on the mic. Gonna, he got to re, <laughs> re tell you. Right. right. Well, we got on the mic. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we we just you know talked about what was traditionally NMC. Melly Mel was the first person, okay, to reinvent the word to stand for what we do as hip hop MCs talking on the mic. Right. So MC M period C period turned into E M C E E. Okay, and if you listen to the uh, Furious Five's uh, first record on Enjoy Records, Super Rapid, Mel has a rhyme where he goes, uh, to be an E-M-C-E-E -E -E is not a threat to society. Okay. All right, that's the first time that word was used on a record and, and put out there as our own description wow. of right. what Amazing. we do as far as talking on microphones. Amazing. But, but no, but realistically, it was no, the other way around. Right. No, we have to oh, stop. Oh, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. No, re re realistically, I, I, it was I, I, the I, I, other I, I, way I around. I give it up, man. It, like yeah. No, no, no. Let me just explain it. E M C E E. That's like the game show host. He's an MC. He's an E M C E E. You know how. Niggas break shit down, and then I just broke it down to MC. So that's MC Melly Mel, MC Shan. So it's the other way around. That's and 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 that's what it was. Wow. Yeah. And and, 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 and let me let me just just add this just just for conversation's sake, and and even for all the young even for all the younger people out there, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with getting old. And and no and no and nobody's getting no younger. Once you once you come on once you come on board, the clock is ticking. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as you know. It's, it's one years old. It ain't one years young. It's fifty fifty eight years old. But there's nothing wrong with getting old. See that and and that's the uh, disconnect where, where they say is a is a a, a, a disconnection between the young M's and and the old because y'all people just got a problem with just getting older. No, I think that that. That that was something that that's that's a byproduct. And people of, always had that problem. But but this is a yeah, by, yeah, but that's a byproduct of of people who want control over the industry. Over I the feel culture. like yeah. I feel like that's promoted by them. Like keep it young, keep it young, because the young boys don't know what they're doing. We could rob the them. We could rob them blind. And with the new. Exactly. You know what I'm well, saying? They yes. robbed us blind. That yeah, ain't no, that ain't yeah, nothing. But when we was young, we was when we was young, create the vision. That now, that's create the, the vision between the older better. and the new, and the older will never be able to give the knowledge that the young boys need to and, them. And, and, I think and, and we could rob them all create day. Create that divide right. between the old and the new. So they never connect. So if they I never dis discuss and ideas and, right. and, and stuff like that. So now we can continue I never to talk to them. Every generation and of young you artists we owe them away we'll from the older talk. niggas right. who know what the fuck we doing. Fact. Yeah, because you already you already went through it. If Kaz and Melly Mel are gonna be able to look at the contract and be like, okay, here's where they're jerking you, here's where they're jerking uh, you, exactly. here's where no, they're no, jerking you. No, no, I swear I won't. Yeah. Let, let, let's keep I it real. I swear I won't. Let's <laughs> keep, let's, <laughs> yeah. Nigga, if my rent is due, I'm signing. Mel is crazy. To this day, to this day, Mel is crazy. But, 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 but keeping it real, oh, sy man. systematically, <laughs> systematically, <laughs> systematically to break down any, any people is you take the parents out the picture. Yeah. No, a a absolutely. And you know see, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, we, would, we wouldn't know our own greatness if there wasn't something that, that survived past the, the institution of slavery. We wouldn't know it. Mm -hmm. Because once you knock off the elders, you can tell the kids whatever you, you can want. tell them whatever. Exactly. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you can be like, yeah, we, we, we had this land for like 300 years. You're, you're just a guest. Meanwhile, it was your land the whole time. You think what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Facts. facts misinformation. But see, so. at, but see, at the end of the day, I remember, I remember it, was a, it was a long time. It, and it happened two times. Uh, I seen a... a, a, a What's the nigga name that, that well it was one time when I went I went on the elevator, I was in the Sony building. I seen Lou Rawls. Mm. Wow. You'll never find <laughs> yeah. that, yeah, right. I, right. Right. Saying, you know what I mean? Cause we grew up on them. Right. Nigga what, listen to the podcast. No, what, what, huh? what, 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 <laughs> what, 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 what's what's the guitar player? Yeah. We're having a seat more. What's it? Billy Preston. No, no, no. He's back in the day, the blues. Uh, 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 BBK. 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 I seen that nigga, BB King. And they, you know, 
That, that's my father in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had to touch that nigga because I know my father would have touched him. Right. This is the BB King of this motherfucker. Yeah. See, we need more of that. We, 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 you, you know what I mean? Like, niggas, it's, it, it, this shit is to be celebrated. But we have right. that. We have that. We have it. What did I do when I walked in the room? No, the first no, thing that, I said that, that's I'm, I'm talking about amongst. Said the same thing. No, I'm, I'm talking about amongst. Uh, uh, I'm not saying I'm his peers, right. but I, I, I'm a recording artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they knew who I was. I remember, I remember the first time I seen Marvin Gaye, yeah, I bumped in him. Oh, uh, he, he played. He played it in in, in, uh, in, in, in Studio Fifty Four. Mm -hmm. And I bumped into him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I was with my wife here, and he said, "Y'all hey, have kids?" I was like, "Oh shit." You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. But this is Marvin. This is this is the greats. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean the greats, not and not the greats like uh like if Cool Herc is one of the greats of cats. I'm talking about this just the greats from like that. Yeah, but right. you that for the first the first time right. I ever seen David you that Ruffin. Or uh, uh, uh and, 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 and uh uh and, and the other nigga, uh, Eddie Kendricks. Mel, but you can't Mel, front you that for how us. many rappers clasp their hands and bow down when they met you? Mm. All of them. Yeah, you got <laughs> the not greatest rappers that talk. No, 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 but, but I want you to name the man. ones that did. The no, 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 no. Some, no, no. Some, some, some of the greats definitely have. Like, yeah. Buster Rhymes. All I think he's the great. I think he's the greatest of all times. Legend. Buster Rhymes always, all, always love niggas up. Right. That nigga used to pick me up off my feet, and I was heavy. <laughs> I was heavier than I was now. Right. Like, this, this motherfucker! You know this nigga, Paul Gorilla? Right. What the fuck? Right. What the fuck? Right, right. You know, right. A, 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 a lot did, but but but, but see, and, and, and my whole thing is very simple. Uh, I think we deserve the right. Even to make a bad song, I don't give a fuck. Even if it was whack, we right. deserve the we deserve the right to make a whack. How many whack songs <laughs> that, we, that we ever heard? I, I can make a whack song. <laughs> right. I could. I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. <laughs> Why you do that shit? Oh, that's Damn. gonna go. That's gonna go. Somebody gonna say that shit. That's gonna go. That's TikTok. Don't just say that. 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 <laughs> like, like you know, nigga told, oh yeah, we need to give, you know, we need to give, uh, 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 you know, we need to give, you ain't got, give me one of the motherfucking beats. <laughs> give me that shit you say for DMS. He can't do it. Right. I do it. Right. I, I, yeah, I come up with some, and, and, and look, I, 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 I party, I, I, I party smarter, not harder. Right. Give me one of the motherfucking beats. Right. I'll come up with something. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. I'm, hey, I'm telling you now. <laughs> and, 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 and see, and that and that's what's missing. Mm. To where's uh, uh, the opportunity? You see, what I'm saying the opportunity. Right. And, and, and I'm not saying you gotta you gotta knock uh, nails off a nigga coffin, but if a nigga good, a nigga good. Right. But an older voice in hip hop might be. I don't know. Might be too, too oh. mature. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, no, no, too no, 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 but let me just do that whack shit. You want to do the. <laughs> no, let, no, let me put the shit out and just say it's whack. Bro, there's you want to make a drill song? I, I, I've done it. You've done it. I, I, I guarantee you, you'll hear the song. I guarantee you, I did the best drill record ever. There was we nothing mature about ever. that. We need to hear it. We need it. to hear it. Oh, ever. We, need we need to hear it. it. No, we need to hear it. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't listen. I did the best drill record. You'll hear it. We want you'll hear it. Right. right. I did the best. It, it, look, if you look at drill music as it is. Mm -hmm. That's the face I make. <laughs> no, 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 but one of my point is none of those records are actually big. The streaming, but as far as a, a commercially successful, and, 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 and I guess some of them must have been commercially successful, but it's it's a uh, it's a it's a it's a uh, 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 a collab with some with, with a successful artist that did it with the drill artist. Right. It's not none of them motherfuckers. The, the, I mean, the, the one is, is uh, Pop Smoke. 
Right. That's that's the one. Right. That's the one commercial one. Right. Peace, but other peace, than peace. that, no. But here's the funny thing about drill. It also ushered in the reemergence of motherfuckers dancing. Yeah. The big dance culture behind drill. There's a big Huge. dance culture. All that. You look at B-Boy. You we didn't see DMX doing none of that. that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You didn't see Jay-Z no. out there trying to, you know what I mean? It was it's the reemergence of dancing in the culture. The only the only problem is they sing about they, murders and killing yeah, and death. Hello! <laughs> hello. But, I was waiting for you dancing. to get to that part, but they dancing. He was like, hey, hey, the only problem is is you know they're promoting genocide production. You know, I mean that's right. <laughs> right. That's a little but bit. you could take that same beat yeah, and, but, and but make I a mean, different type well, of song I mean, to it. Could we sacrifice being able to dance on some shit? Because it's you know it's 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 death and destruction in the motherfucking message of the song. I mean, I mean like it's like yeah. yo, fuck it. We're I mean, we about tribal people, fucking bitches and all that shit. But yo, the beat is crazy. But but we're tribal <laughs> people. Like, the beat is crazy. <laughs> we're tri- you could do this song. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're tribal people though. So there's gonna be songs of celebration, and there's gonna be songs about war. It's in us. All right. Well, we, it's we, in us. Well, if we can get from a certain way, well, well, everybody well, like this. That well, if we can get beat, what you doing? No, that right. shit off and saying, "Let's kill, shoot, kill <laughs> this nigga over here." You could be saying, "Shorty, shorty, this and that, this and that." Yo, my, the, the, I mean, it, it's the narrative, my it man. It is. It's the music. You could take the music and pimp it for good or pimp it for bad. I, I need you to say that to the camera. You could take the music and pimp it for good or pimp it for bad. Because if the music is what's dope. Then keep the music. No. Change the motherfucking and, and my, and, and my, right. and my, and my thing yeah, is I mean, very simple. And I'm, I'm gonna say this shit. for all for all you tough guys, for all you murderers, oh, shit. for all you killers. If you don't got a bullet for nobody, if you ain't got a bullet for them white boy Ku Klux Klan niggas, and the only niggas you got a bullet for is a nigga up the block that's right next to you, I don't respect none of that. Mm. None of it. Right. I, I can see if you was a, a, a killer is an equal opportunity killer. They kill as they kill, mm-hmm. and they will. But if you only got a bullet for your own, I'm not gonna respect that. And, I, and I'm saying that on purpose, because of the wolves, I could get shot at it, but, but before I do, if I do, <laughs> fuck you in advance. <laughs> fuck that shit. Shut up the way. No, fuck that shit. No, fuck that shit. No, no, I ain't mad. I ain't Come on, I'll be with you. Say that shit again, man. No, again. no, fuck that shit. Fuck you in advance. If, if y'all ain't got a bullet, fuck I'm sure I'm going to say it slow for you. For all you slow niggas that's sipping lean Facts. and all that shit. Oh, God. If you ain't got not one bullet for none of the white boys that want to kill you, and the only nigga that you got a bullet for is the niggas that look like us, and I know you can kill me. I'm not bulletproof. Right. <laughs> Fuck you in advance. Fuck you. In Facts. advance, <laughs> Mr. I'm Wolf. I'm with that. I back that man. And that's it. My name is Matt Hoffa, and I support this message. No, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and that's it. I support the message. But because, because, look, all, 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 all I, and, and, and yeah, I'll never understand that shit. Kill, niggas killing niggas, it ain't right. It, right. It, 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 it's something that don't rub me right with that shit. Yeah, right. It and don't. I, and, 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 I, and I understand it. Because y'all come from an era where you did this to get away from it. We party niggas. To this day, hey, look, me, 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 me and my little bro, uh, we'll break up, we'll get back together. The one thing that I miss out of everything, we had danced all night long. Mm-hmm. It'd be six, seven o'clock in the morning, we still dancing. We ain't even leave the floor and shit. We just partying. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's the life. That's the life that I wanted when we first got into this shit. Right. And that's the life that you know what I mean. If you ain't never dan- if you ain't never danced all night long with, with, with a woman that you love. You know what I mean? What the fuck? What the fuck? What, what the shit fuck? Right. What is life right. about, nigga? Right. <laughs> what is life about? What you, you, you know what I'm saying? We 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 party, nigga. Yeah, I'm about to go home, man. I yeah, mean, to this day, I'm talk to white dance. You know what? <laughs> I'm about to go home and dance, put on some music, man. Right in the living room. Send him on my way, baby. No, I'm on my way, way baby. Get out of here. Get the door. Yo. 
Let me go home and try it's inspiring. that. And I, 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 it's inspiring. And I, and I swear on my mother's eyes. Because that's what we did. We, we was, you know, we party, we dancing and shit. We lighted outside. Goddamn, we come out as bright as shit. And the slow, and the slow jams would come on. Yeah, let you know it's time. Let you know it's time. No, you, 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 you know knew he was getting some. And oh, you're you know, gonna and, love and, me. And I'm talking. And I'm talking about right to this me. day. Oh, I'm talking man. about right to this day. You know what? Bigger had bigger had the best best science when you talked about the end of the party. You talked about the DJ's responsibility to the crowd. Sending them out on an amped up song. Nah, the DJ would turn uh-uh. on the slow song, yeah, bring yeah. all the energy down, get shit. you ready to. Take it down. Just regulate all that energy. You get everybody forgot. down I on never the mellow when you said that. Because I never thought of that before you. But when that, when yeah. that last, whatever the song was, whatever the song was, all of a sudden out of nowhere. Yeah. Always and forever. Right, you right. can't be fact, tough when that shit goes. You didn't think about fighting. I, I, I ran in clubs and areas that uh, in the South that there was the, the murder rate. Like, so y'all yeah, know the South is different from um what we experience here and i love new york i'm a new yorker but in the south they have a lot of guns and mm-hmm. their whole mentality is different the mm-hmm. murder rate in the black on black crime is so h- much higher than what it is in new york i just don't know it and you don't know it until you get down south and when you get down south you figure it out what? but with that said i ran a lot of clubs down south i was doing the same thing i do here in new york and what you just said mm-hmm. is how I protected a lot of men's lives. A lot of men in the comments will make comments say, yeah, you know, that's the man. Yeah, A lot of lives were safe because I told the DJ at the end of the night, toward the last five to six, yeah, seven mellow this songs, shit out. I need you to drop that. I needed to go from busting the head, hang, head banging, all that stuff that was actually, I, that was another thing. I watched being security of who I am for a long time, mm-hmm. I watched a lot of stuff. The headbanger songs and all of those type of songs, the guys began to want to fight each other. You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. was like some systematic thing. Like when right. that energy, music is energy. played, yeah, certain they songs, begin roughing. Right, that shit right. and 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 they they night something inside. Yeah, 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 they're more susceptible to, to being right, hypnotized right. by the music. You know, Let yeah. me be a, 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 a bunch of niggas yeah. in a party and throw on Annie up. Yeah. yeah. I got robbed with the fuck out of here. See how the energy changes. Tim, you got robbed to I got robbed. Let me tell y'all a quick story. 2000 Club Speed. Yo, I'm in Club Speed, right? Yo, Faye, what y'all Yo, doing out there? Yo, this is crazy. I'm like yeah. 17 years old, right? I'm in Club Speed. I'm with a bunch of the Rough Rider Street team, right? So we on the second floor of Club Speed. We on this little stage. You know, this is the year 2000, so you got Jay-Z. You got We Are The Streets. You got Everybody um, the there. Dynasty album. You got all these Did albums he? that's rocking. Any Up was the number one record. At this, this particular day, Cameron and Rest In Peace Prodigy, they mm. performed downstairs. Cameron performed with me, The World of You, Let Me Know, and Prodigy did um, Quiet Storm. He did his verse on Quiet Storm. Mm. So we was upstairs first. We wild and we wild and had about 10 chains on. I was, I was getting, you know, street money at that time or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I'm about 110 pounds soaking wet. Waves, light skin. I just look like I'm going to get that yeah, nigga, right. right? All my guys tell me, yo, champ, don't go nowhere by yourself. Huh. Don't go nowhere by yourself. I'm like, man, fuck that shit. This time we drinking Bacardi 151. We wildin'. Right. We go down. So now we on the stage. I go to the bathroom. I spin off. I'm lit. I spin off. The, 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 bathroom, the, the, the right? bathroom. Look at their face. Right? The bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. Right? <laughs> Mel looking at him like, mistakes number one. Number one. The more they change, the more they stay the same. I spin off, right? And there's these four dudes. They from Brownsville, right? right? I spin off. I see these four dudes. Now, prior to us being on that stage, I seen them niggas downstairs. They, they was walking around on some train shit. They had their arms on each other's shoulders. They walking around. They got bandanas on. And I seen them snatching niggas shit. Left and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, I ain't worried about them niggas. Go to the bathroom. Them four niggas is standing right there at the entrance. Hey, how you I'm doing, I'm lit, champ? though. Oh, They're like, yo, what up, little man? What up, little man? I'm like, yeah, what up, what up, what up? Boom. I'm lit. I go in the bathroom. I go in the store, lock the door, take a piss, come out. I'm so inebriated. I'm washing my hands. One of the niggas was like, yo, boy, that pinky ring is fire, bro. Let me see that. 
I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, it's a little pinky ring. I just bought, you know, downtown. Snoop. I'll be square more. <laughs> Clap! I need bottle right over my head. Bop! Ah. Right over my head. Bop. So this is what happens. I wake up. Right. Ain't like I'm said, on the shoulder of a bouncer. Right. Wow. I'm on the shoulder of a bouncer. Some some nigga around my way. Shout out to Sessa. He got me on his shoulder. I wake up. I'm like, oh shit. What the fuck just happened? You go outside. They got all these niggas outside butt naked. Winter time. It's like December. They got all these right. niggas outside butt naked. Them niggas damn near robbed the whole fucking club. They had a fucking <laughs> corner full of people's jewelry. People just coming by like, oh, that's my charm. Oh, that's this, your homie, that's my watch. Uh, uh. Right. And you know, some things led to whatever it led to after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was gonna tell you, don't you tell the end of that yeah, story. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. But then, funny, funny way how the universe works. I, I get locked up, 2001. I go to um, Downstate. I'm in Downstate, I'm in my cell. They running chow. I'm standing out. I'm in my window and I'm looking out my window and I hear niggas talking, coming from chow on the line. And I see this. I see, somebody yells out the window to to some other dude. He like, yo, yo, Charlie B, what up, bro? What up, what up? He like, yo, you know what the vibe is, bro? You know what I'm saying? I just got locked up for this robbery shit. You know, I was in speed booking everything. So I look and I'm like, oh, that's that nigga. That's that nigga that booked me. I said, yo, ch- I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. There it is. Leave it at that. Ah, there it is. There it is. But, there yeah, is. so I'm saying that to say, I'm just saying that to say, Andy Up <laughs> was on a whole nother Shit, vibration. Right. Andy Up, right. that song was playing when I walked in the bathroom. And that never would have happened had Champ walked in the bathroom and heard. Boom. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. I was Oops. a young kid. I didn't, I didn't care. Okay, okay. okay. Yo, listen, <laughs> listen we're we going to take a five minute break. Come right back. Some what? real hip hop issues that need black to be people addressed, with you know what I mean? So we're gonna need a whole nother show for that shit. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. This is several shows. Look, I just wanna I wanna thank y'all, man. Absolutely. I wanna thank y'all. Because when I was growing up, you know, hear, hearing the brothers that was inspired by y'all, mm. that inspired me. And to know like th- this is the chain that it came from. Thank you. It's hip hop saved my life what you guys created saved my life a lot of us that that found a way in this culture we would have been dead or in jail what y'all created was an out thank you thank you thank you thank you yes thank thank you you welcome you welcome bro i mean that's that's why <laughs> I mean, I, I mean that, that's one of the best things that came out of out of this culture. Besides, you know, the economic side. You know what I mean? The people being able to empower themselves through the culture. But I mean, it brought motherfuckers together. Okay, under an umbrella um, that doesn't have anything to do with racism or sexism or, you know what I mean? economic status or anything hip-hop right. is hip-hop and Facts. motherfuckers who enjoy it and and love it and understand it and have a passion for it share a kinship mm. okay and if hip-hop did anything yeah it made a lot of millionaires a couple of billionaires all right got a lot of niggas some pussy okay but the <laughs> best thing it did is it brought the fucking world together. together listen i grew up in open mics and um i would leave the block all the bullshit that was going on Go to these open mics. Shout out to EO Dub. Shout out to uh, <coughs> to Zoo. Shout out to 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 Pro. Shout rest out in peace, Vice. rest in peace Vice. And I would go there and you know work on my skills. It would be all different types of people that would get up <coughs> on that stage. Shout out to Logan. Oh God! Shout out to Logan. <laughs> Logan was this white boy that used to get on stage, From cowboy hat, and he used to rock, and everybody loved him. He used to come every week, and then Logan's in the building, and everybody loved it. You know right. what I mean? On the block, niggas would be like, "Who this nigga? Let's rob this nigga." You know what I mean? But in Amen. that space, Logan was a king, and that, and those memories, like listening to y'all talk, it brought me back to those times, and I was like, "Yo." I fell in love with this shit, being in those spaces. And that space was created by y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, just like the yeah. Can you give me your cash shot? Man, I feel like I need to just see. You know what I mean? I would just, I would just <laughs> like to end up. I would that. just like to end up saying this. Uh, I, I'm a shit talking nigga. I'm gonna talk shit all my life. I don't, no, you know. nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 and 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 uh and that's some shit uh niggas gonna have to figure that shit out yeah facts. you know what I mean mm, because be, be, it be, beside all that and even my ego mm -hmm. like I said I'm a I'm, I lose sleep over that shit everybody sleep good yeah I want to say shout out shout it, out to it, all the young it's your turn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. listen mm -hmm. these guys were kings to understand when you when you pick up this craft. When you become part of this culture, you become a king. And kings are supposed to be leaders. So look around at your kingdom and see how you can lead them in the right direction. The same way that these guys did. Absolutely. Cash, you got to get to your show, we know. Yeah, yeah no I, doubt. I, I'm going to have to bounce my show of Rock the Bells Radio. Uh, of course, I rep the brand all day, every day. Mm -hmm. I'm on LL Cool J's Rock the Bells Radio Monday through Friday. Okay, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. with my partner, uh, the first female luminary hip hop of, uh, uh, of hip hop, Sha Rock. Awesome. Okay, and our show is called That's the Joint. Right. And uh, we've been on for like a little bit over a year, you know. Nice. And uh, congratulations. Uh, thank you, thank you, man. I mean, it came like after the pandemic. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, you know kind of opened up a lot of the seeds that I had planted prior to. You know, started to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. So I'm nonstop. Like, so the OG is making money, is what I'm hearing. I, I mean, yeah, it ain't, ain't really dusty. about saying about the money part. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. It, it, it helps to be able to uh, not be look over your shoulder every week. You know right. what I mean? Not living from particular check to check. check. Be able to invest a few dollars. Be able to take save some money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And be able to try to look into creating some generational wealth for your kids, your grandkids, and shit like that. So right. that's where I'm at with it right now. But just some of the things I want to talk about and highlight before we leave is the fact that, like I said, it's the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, all right? And uh, us being the uh, founders, oh shit, hello. Hey, <laughs> Russell, what's up? Damn. Yeah, I did, with Dr. J, man. You, I, I fucking love you, man. Hey, talk to Melly Mel real quick. I'm on camera. That's Russell Peters. Right. So, right, right. 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 That's another Russell. Yeah. Right. Right. Russell was good. Nah, man, but like I said, um, this being the 50th anniversary of hip hop, this is a milestone that none of us are going to see again. Right. I love you, boy. Okay? You know, you we come from the, the beginning of this after, shit. After so, even the 75th down, like, oh. anniversary of hip hop, right. most of us ain't going to be around. If, if somebody lucky, but if they are, they're going to be 90-something years old, maybe right. 100 years old, right. if any of us no, make it to that second so money good. round. Right. So what I'm saying, it's important that yeah. we not only celebrate the it's 50th Sunday. anniversary, but can it get a definitive narrative, all right. All right. a collective agreement Russell, you know you mm -hmm. from the people right. who started this culture in the first place. Right. You know what I mean? I so we can leave a platform... For the culture to move on historically, all right? Because right. you already know that we don't tell our story, he going to tell our, our story. story. Right. Okay? And it's not going to be our story. Right. All right? 30, 40, 50 years down the culture. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we have these opportunities to celebrate ourselves as a culture, I mean, we got to kick in. Support. You know what I mean? How can lock, we support? Lock the fuck in. How can we support? I mean, we can support by, first of all, I mean... Um, Supporting all the events around uh, cel the celebration of the 50th anniversary. Can, can Secondly, we get that, can we get that 50 cent party? Oh, 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 we're gonna make it happen. I do do, I donate for that. We're gonna I do, definitely donate we're gonna for do that. The, we're gonna do the, uh, the, the outdoor the, event. We got, we we're got gonna the event. We got the event. We got the first documented hip hop party by giving a hip hop jam 
All right, and it's gonna be twenty five cents for girls and fifty cents for guys. Yeah, Let's get it. it. All right, I'm, I'm in there. Happen, I'm in there. I'm in there. Right. Y'all better play some slow jams at the no, end of the night. Outdoors, never did it. No, we got no. Shots of we ain't yeah. only gonna <laughs> play the slow jam. Or <laughs> all the OGs, we gonna slow dance. You gonna come out there, <laughs> get ready to slow dance. At the right. end of the party, we on some Delphonic shit, some yeah. shy light shit. You know right, what I mean? Right. Some stylistic. You're a big shit. girl right. now. You know what I no mean? No more right. daddy. At the end of the party, girl. <laughs> I mean, come on now. We weren't trying to be come on socially now. conscious. Okay, right. we were trying to end the fucking party. Right? Right. Right. And if you keep playing music they can dance to. They ain't gonna wanna leave. They gonna keep dancing. You like stop all that fast shit. All right, boom. All right, once love, you know, party got ten more minutes. Everybody start making your way out the motherfucker, and uh, we gonna do a little something like this. And Adele Phonics, come on. And oh, you're gonna love me. Mm. (laughs) You're gonna wanna hold me and squeeze me. Love I give to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're Thank you. Next week. Yo. <laughs> ready to show the world. You already ah, know. We out. Right. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve, you heard.